corner, man. I can't put I, you can't put nothing in the corner because the boobs are gonna be covered. What the? That was uh, the perfect time to say that too. Cause I just started recording, like for real now. Great. <laughs> so yeah, welcome Obi's, to the. Uh, Obi's the pervert. Yeah. We're, we're all Thanks. perverts. I always sneak sneak in some kind of like uh, pseudo hentai or something in there. <laughs> Borderline, you know, YouTube legal. <laughs> right, this is going to be kind of crazy. So w welcome to the Horseplay uh, pregame, episode 10. Today is February 20th. I got uh, a... Thank Ma you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> I said, I I'm not going to get through it. I know someone's going to do this. And thank you. <laughs> Sean, thank go you, ahead. Yomar. <laughs> Sean, go ahead. Get out of your system. <laughs> and thank you, Yogi, for that super <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Sorry. The only hype, word hype. I can come up with is noob. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> I, I don't have anything else. That's it. That's a podcast. We're done. That's it. We're done. Great, it guys. Episode whatever. <laughs> nice. Uh, very nice job. <laughs> it's smooth. Sorry, sorry, uh, Freeman. You didn't get to say shit, but uh, we're done. So uh, thanks for <laughs> stopping by. <laughs> GG. Good night. Good night. <laughs> All right. So this is a zombie episode oh, yeah. here. So it's going to be epic. Epic! Not quite the group we were supposed to get, but we got an awesome showing, so. We couldn't have done nothing. Man, I got to cover this crazy chick up here, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's got to get covered. Oh, uh... the other boob. Dude, the other boobs with the freaking British bathing suits on better than crazy. You're oh, you're covering Maggie. I really yeah. want to see this picture now. You'll see it. You'll see it. Uh, on my YouTube, uh, it's the the cover I use for it. Can I just take the audio and put a little still picture on it? It's a very lazy uh, video. <laughs> All right, we're going to start, um, but I'm going to actually, uh, while we're doing it, uh, I'm going to be <laughs> while we're doing it, I'm going to be looking down. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> look at that bulge. Look at, the, look at that knuckle. <laughs> that knuckle. I already know what, with this group we're going to get seriously derailed. It's going to be great. That moose knuckle. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be horseplay horse play squared. With all due respect, and I know none of you, but fuck you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's fair. Oh, F-bomb. Oh, no. That's fair. Yeah, what is that? Are we, is it uh, podcast family friendly? Just or? no F-bombs. That's it. You can say whatever you want. Just no fucks. Well... I think we can because we're, I don't think we're going to go on iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio is the only one that's like really in about that kind of stuff. A, never mind. It's okay. I got a kid. I can stop myself. I love iHeartRadio. Yeah, but they're super anal about certain things. Like we have an explicit, we have a parental guidance rating on, uh, yeah. which I, I, I don't know how that translates to iTunes, but Stitcher doesn't care as long can as you're going crazy. we just do uh, for unlawful carnal knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> God! Knowledge. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, no. Yes, we can. Okay. You do flick. Uh, but um, like I said, as we're going, I'm gonna be putting like uh, names and everything because I really I want to get started. And I didn't really un didn't know exactly how to spell the names until Yogi just sent them to me. So I'm trying to get it all done really really fast. I put it in the show show notes. I thought. Yeah, I'm stupid. I, I put don't it know. in the show notes. I don't know Damn. how to. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I went to puberty all over again. Thank yeah. you, Axel. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Long cast, you know. I love you, man. Oh, man. Remember to go to Dead Reviews. <laughs> hey, Sean, you should try to get uh, So Doom in here. Yeah, where is he? Are we doing the intro music for reals? Because five guys who can derail a podcast is going to make for a fantastic podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Um. Go on the intro screen. Oh, we got signal us when you're gonna do the music, so be quiet. Oh no, no, you guys just keep talking. I'm gonna, I'm going to intro screen, and I'm starting the stream now. Oh, do I have to sign up in Twitch to chat? Yeah, just be uh, careful. Uh, uh, by default, it plays the video. <laughs> yeah, you get some wicked like audio. 
at Google. Played some Netflix commercial or something. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you're playing League of Legends. Oh, you're a League of Legends player? I don't want to talk <laughs> about it. I'm out. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> yes, we are big on mobile. When we first started out, that was, our show was practically the MOBA show. We've diversified since those days, though. I just know League of Legends from Reddit, and every time I'm in that, they're, <laughs> they're not nice people. Yes, I will say that uh, <laughs> League of Legends is the most caustic community out there, even though it's a great game. It's very protective of it. Yeah, which is stupid because you, if you want a game to grow, you gotta kind of check the elitism on the door at the door, you know. Dude, yeah. you didn't do your you didn't do your 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 countdown in your episode. You didn't do all your top top. Oh. <laughs> what the? You heck? didn't do your you didn't do your talk. You didn't do your. Episode ten, and you didn't say the title. You didn't, I, you didn't I did. Nothing. Okay, episode ten. <laughs> Brains of smoked paprika. But see, Sean and Matt derailed me. This oh, is a pregame. It, it doesn't matter. What? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm used to accounting, man. Uh, I, I, <laughs> well, this I is a pregame. Just... The pregame doesn't matter because oh, Obi no, no. Obi's gonna ring us in for real. All right, here we go. We're gonna get ready to start here, guys, in a second. Saying, three, two, one. I shut up, dude, and I wasn't paying attention. Roger. Rabbit. <laughs> count us down. Kind of, count us down, Obi, or else we won't know. <laughs> I love you, Yogi, man, dude. I, it, it's it's just been an honor since uh, Fred Roja introduced us, man. And it's uh, it's been a joy. Having you as a friend. Aww. He was on the episode where, where I ate uh, all that soap. Yeah, that's not a proud moment. <laughs> what is Mariana doing? We gotta be quiet, Sean. <laughs> I'm like waving my hands like, shut up! <laughs> Best start ever. Exactly. All day long. Okay. <laughs> ADHD. So? Oh, man. And welcome back, Horseplay Episode 10. And guess what? We're talking some zombies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that didn't even... Yeah, we're not even going to go there. <laughs> welcome back, guys. This is Horseplay Episode 10. The And I got to get to the show notes because, yeah, I didn't... I did read them. I did, I promise. <laughs> Yogi, every, every week he's like... Dude, did you read the show notes yet? Yes, I read them. We'll read them again because I just added a bunch of stuff. See that so quick, I quick look several times. You know, probably about twenty times during the week because OB. it changes up that much. What? You know what? I wish you were caught up on The Walking Dead. Could I use something straight out of the show right now? Liar. Well, you're yeah. not caught up on The Walking. Dead. How how far? I'm are you sorry. Back? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But he's behind. Show, dude. Dude. Like, I, dude. Dude. I. Hey, I'm sorry. It's your show. That's dude. I'm, all I'm I can. No, that's all I can do is say I'm sorry. Well, it's not enough, Obi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm tr trying to play the part of the. For, Sean, those are, in here. for those that are actually listening on the podcast, I'm flipping him off right now. <laughs> he is. He really did it too. I did. <laughs> Just because they can't see it, whatever. Okay, we have right here. Anyway, let's get back to it. Host right here, you will be one X2. And right next to me, we got a little bit set up. We got a couple of different things we're doing today this week. We got Yogi Yogizilla right next to me. And then up in the top left corner of the overlay here, we got Freeman Daddy. Hello. Hello, how's it going? The pimp. Yep. And yeah. he's <laughs> one of the hosts of Zombiecast Radio. Did I say that right? Is it is it Zombiecast Radio? 
Empire. Yes, zo uh, yes. Zombie Cast Empire. That's right. Zombiecast.net. Uh, we're the unofficial guide to all things zombie. And horror. And horror. <laughs> and right above me, we have Matthew Bradford. Hey, buddy. I don't know your name yet. I really don't. You're you're actually that way for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do this all podcast. So no, <laughs> just, just high five. No, I'm just five. <laughs> raise, raise the roof up. I'm just gonna push them down. Exactly. <laughs> I like this. But Matt's, on, but Matt's on the podcast of all podcasts, Video Game Outsiders also. I consider ZCast yeah. the podcast of all podcasts. And, that's the worst thing. Um, and we all have Twitters, um, at Obi1X2, at YogiZilla, at FreemanDaddy5, and at Moto McFly. Motto McFly? Motto McFly, yeah. Motto McFly? I, I said it like three different times and said it all <laughs> wrong, so it's all it's good. Like but anyway, the title, the title of this show is we're actually going to have it called, and Yogi came up with this, by the way, <laughs> Brains and Smoked Paprika. All right. That's a callback to I, the episode with uh, we did with uh, on Knuckleballer Radio, which Sean mm -hmm. is also on, where he right. had to taste soap. And then we talked about seasoning, too. We had a whole episode, well, a whole little segment about seasoning. And uh, yeah. Eli Sadoom, who was supposed to be here. So you should get Eli to join us. Well, you know, Eli get out of bed. Eli got circumcised this week. So, you know, he's been, <laughs> he's been kind of tiptoeing around, you know. The last two episodes of Knuckleballer Radio, we had to do a half show because, you know, we knew he had penile surgery, uh... Uh, a couple weeks ago, but uh, you know the whole last. <laughs> but you know, if you listen, Yogi, it was all about the circumcision. This it was, I, it was the most real show I ever listened to, and it, and you, it was on a, it was an aware uh, an awareness piece almost the whole thing, uh, explaining the, the 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 <laughs> the importance of uh, genitalia and hygiene, and you know making that tough decision, deciding that that decision should make the cut. Haha, -ha, see what I did there? There was once upon a time when I thought knuckleball was like a serious, you know, get around a table and talk about deep issues. But the last two episodes I've heard is, is Sean eating soap and pee boners. That was the <laughs> pee boners? Episode. I was going to bring that up later in the show. <laughs> so, the intro, so the intro is, welcome to Knuckleballer Radio, where we talk about penises all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a, a lot of people, you know, you know, like you said, you know, I, I do zombie cast uh, with Matt, then and, and me and Eli, and Norma, you know, Norma's on both shows, but uh, Knuckleball Radio, a lot of people think it's about baseball. And, and Yogi, <laughs> I'm sure you did the first time that you come on too. But no! What, but what Knuckleball Radio is, is <laughs> in baseball, when you throw a knuckleball, you never know where the ball is going to go. So as for a knuckleball, that we bring knuckleballs to the table, a.k.a. a pitch or a topic. And we don't tell each other what the topic is going to be. So, like, if Matt comes on the show, we're going to ask him, what is your knuckleball? We, we never know where Matt's going to go. It could be about sex. It could be about the new shoesy ball. It could be about a game. Anything, <laughs> any topic under the sun. Yeah. So that's where knuckleball or radio comes into effect. And we try to take three rounds of knuckleballs from each person. But, yeah, I never know what you're going to talk about, Yogi, when you come on. And you don't know what I'm going to talk about. Yep. And, and, you know, it makes for a perfect show. What I like I about it is... I don't ever want to even try to. No, it it's, you should. You should, Obi. We, me and you should go I'm on it. To go on there now. It's fun times. Honestly, they're good people. And, and Mariana really wants to come on there, Sean, but uh, she's been super sick. But she really wants to join you guys, too. Yeah, dude. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's such an open forum type show, man. You know, I mean, you know, I, really, you could do it one per. you know, you could do it by yourself or two people. So, you know, you know, whenever she has the free time, dude, I know you guys are busy up there above. Uh, U.S. border, you know, out there where all the bombs and stuff are, slightly in Canada. <laughs> I don't think Sean's ever been to Canada. No, it's, it's House of Cards Season 2 is on, so give us another week and then we'll be free to do more stuff, Sean. And she really wants to go on your show. I, I don't I don't want to eat soap and shit like that. So. <laughs> right, so, uh, uh, Obi, you Obi, are you a fan of that, dude? Everybody's Oops, telling sorry. me about House of Cards. I'm a huge fan of House of Cards. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and the crowd goes silent. Nope. <laughs> hey, I just no wanted to say, I, I wanted to say real quick, since we got, we were, uh, we had the best start ever <laughs> with the full room and we were trying to do the pregame and then transition to the real live show. And, uh, and Sean, we had a Kodak moment, but I, I couldn't say anything back. 
because the music was playing and I was like, damn it, Sean, I feel awkward now. And Sean said the nicest thing. He's like, I love you guys. And I'm like, damn it, now I feel like a dick. <laughs> yeah, I love all, especially Ozzy like Oz, and Chant, man, I love you too, man. I love everybody. <laughs> well, now you're devaluing what you said. Okay, thanks. I thought I was special. Yeah, Sean loves you, everyone, man. so by extension, he loves you, nobody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's very philosophical right there. It's like almost... When you love everyone, you love nobody. That's like the whole uh, argument if everybody's special and no one is. It's like almost like the meaning of life. Oh, Sean's Sorry. got a big heart. It's too big for all of us to comprehend. Aww. I've, 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 I've met Sean in person. He's a fantastic dude. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> one day, Sean's not too far from me. Cause he's in South Carolina and I'm in Georgia. But uh, it's interesting how we all met, because uh, especially you guys all, you know, have shows on All Games Network, and, I'm, and I've been a, a lurker on there for a long time. I think the first show I was on All Games was uh, Sean's show. Oh, no. No, no, no. It was actually I, Fr Fred Rojas, Gaming History 101. And then Fred introduced me to Sean, and Sean introduced me to other people, and then I've been on, like, every show on All Games now. So it's, it's a very tightly knit community. It's cool. Yeah. Lots it of love there. It's a small community, too, right? Because... You get to know people, you go on different shows. Um, I much love to the old games community, for sure. Word. And you just wrote a couple articles for Zombiecast, too. Yes, we'll get oh, into plugs. It. Yeah, we'll get into some plugs in a little bit. Let Obi oh. uh, finish up the, the, the intros. <laughs> we we, oh, were, yeah, we are tangent masters. Guys, dude, we're not even... We're, our, we're <laughs> done. We're way <laughs> done past. I mean, we're almost to the feature already. I mean, it's just... Right. Yeah. I need these notes because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to... You know, you point at me when it's my turn. I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm going to do a crosser. I'm doing a crosser right now. Oh, my God. Okay, thank <laughs> well, you for not... watching this show, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna um, and I on. do have his name up there, so you guys, and I did, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> um, no, I didn't. Uh, make sure you guys to blow his Twitter up right now, and uh, just dog the shit out of him right now. Just, Capital why are you M. doing a crossword? Capital M, I'm not Matt McFly, that's for peasants. I'm capital M-A-T-T-O, capital M. CFL. Oh, one. I am so sorry, sir. My agent oh, told you this before. Oh. Your agent didn't tell me anything. <laughs> It's it's kind of awkward because I'm watching I'm going back between Twitch so I'm Tell seeing your reactions on there. Tell to stop calling me. What? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm watching your reactions on Twitch so I'm reacting to those reactions and not the real live ones. So I'm like, why is it laughing at You should be that? reacting to freaking. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. I've been okay. doing that all this time. I'm like, what is going on right now? <laughs> so Matt's gonna be super delayed on everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Anyway, welcome geeks gamers to horseplay we do want to welcome everybody that is listening as well on the podcast today is february 20th 2014 and this is episode 10 titled brains and smoked paprika if you haven't guessed yet or you're followed our updates throughout the past week on our social media uh it's uh talking kind of talking about zombies and if you can't tell with all the the stuff around us <laughs> like like right next to me you got a, 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 a i don't even want to say it the messed up chick with a, a string bikini on with a bear's head zombie heck yeah that's she's hot though it's okay what <laughs> that, that's that's the uh they were giving that away as like a toy with zombie u editions weren't they in the uk that's where that's from that's an Is actual it? like it's a bust you can get with a zombie u video game i thought i was a uh... some reason I thought it was part of Dead Island Riptide, the uh, limited edition. We don't want you guys to have it. We can't put a U.S. flag on our tits or anything. <laughs> sure. I'm Canadian, by the way. We can do I'm it. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'll talk slower then. <laughs> Dude, the arm we're, we're, we're not, not going to talk the Olympics, right? We're not going to yeah, talk the Olympics. Go, no! Canada, go! <laughs> Kicked your ass in gold tonight, boys. Oh, cool. man, we just lost Matt. I don't know what happened, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the so first. why did you kick Matt off the show? I didn't. He left by himself. <laughs> by his own volition. <laughs> he said, ski gas, I'm going home. <laughs> but again, we do have, again, uh, uh, Freeman Daddy 5, and I'm going to try to say it again. I'm going to say it wrong. Matto. Matto. McFly. McFly. Like Marty McFly, but Meadow. Like, like McFly! 
I'm not actually doing a crossword guy. <laughs> he is doing a crossword. He's just like, because you can see him looking down every couple seconds, and he go. Can, you I, know. can I show you something? It's going to be a bad omission. No. <laughs> I, got yeah. this, I got this book because I thought I was smart. I got this New York puzzle <laughs> daily planner. And let me show you how much puzzle I've done in the last month. None. I can't get a single goddamn clue on this dude, stupid book. Dude, those crossword, <laughs> those crossword puzzle books make you make you feel dumb, no matter how good you are at vocabulary. That like, it's it's horrible. It's crazy. They're like okay. New York Times puzzles. Thirteen, yeah, thirteen down. City that's home to King Fad's Road. Wow. I lost you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See Matt flipping. Can you repeat uh, the question? Uh, okay, 13 down. City that's home to King Fades, F-A-H-D, Road. Are you Googling that? Country of origin, please. Um, I, I have no <laughs> F-ing clue. I don't, dude, just... <laughs> what? Can I get a lifeline, please? I'm putting it away. Oh, Phone on, a hey. friend. Can, can I have the definition in Latin, please? Uh, ile... <laughs> the city is... He's gonna do it, too. Jeopardy <laughs> style. <laughs> <laughs> Dominus Deus King. <laughs> almost. <laughs> no, no. Far Sounds far. convincing enough. <laughs> it almost kind of sounded like Pig Latin, though, for a second. So I don't... Yeah, that's probably it. So my wife. She'll sit there and start going oop and dap a doop and dap a day or whatever <laughs> she says. And, and it, it, like, what are you saying? Wouldn't you like to know? Not really. It's just annoying. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> um, and then I, you know, I left her. So now I got a new one, which is really cool. But anyway, let's get back to this. Pretty fast. But I do, I do want to welcome uh, you guys both to Horseplay. And uh, I had said before that these guys are um, the hosts of, uh, two of the hosts of ZombieCast and of other radio shows that they do. And it's ZombieCast Empire. Not network, not show, not radio. <laughs> Empire. <laughs> Everywhere, taking over the world, space. son. You guys, make sure you guys hit him up. So, Yogi, um, before we get into all the zombie stuff, let's. Uh, what'd you What'd you do a little bit this week? You do anything interesting besides uh, go nuts with all the backup work that you had to come up with? Yeah, <laughs> still, <laughs> still recovering from the stupid blackout. Four days without power and work pa backing up and. Uh, yeah. I'm still I'm still worn out. <laughs> it was crazy, but the, it was nice though. We got to cook outdoors and stuff, get in touch with nature while our limbs were freezing off. It's actually surprisingly cold considering it's the south, and I'm used to the cold. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nuts. We were not equipped for that for that winter storm anus. I mean, Pax. So how long was what? How long was the uh, power out for then? For me, four days, but there were some people out like five days, six days. It was crazy because trees were falling down everywhere, bringing down power lines, and the transformers sorted out with the condensation building up. It was crazy. It was you like to, like talk to your family and stuff. <laughs> we, had, we, we were forced to spend quality time <laughs> together. It was terrible. Ugh. Matt, you know, Matt, Don't let your wife hear you say that. Yeah, Yogi, you know, Matt is a bumble himself. You know, they've had about 18 feet of snow up there. Uh, up it's in uh, Canada. Yeah, it's been records. Hey, I'm, I live in Michigan, and I've got just about as much. Yeah, you're pretty close. <laughs> hey, we got um, piles over my head down in the driveway. It's ridiculous. It's been that way for three months now. So whenever Sean posts pictures of, like, a light dusting, and it's like, Snowmageddon over here in Georgia, I have to send him a picture of my driveway and remind him what it's really like to be in a... Where it's like six polar. feet high. Yeah. And it's like... No hey, less. Guys, you know, you know, and, we, that, we went to, and that's we on a warm the, day, okay? Exactly. Yeah. We went to the mall tonight, guys, and I, and I actually rocked my Tevas, shorts, and a t-shirt. Uh, because <laughs> it's... Uh, today it was about 70, and it's supposed to be like 73 tomorrow. But back freezing next week. That's weird. Though. Yeah. yeah it like was freaking... I think it's above... I think it's like 33 up here right now. Yeah, it's actually yeah. humid today. I'm actually sweating today, so it's like crazy. Did you say where at? <laughs> the thing where is, sucked though. People are making fun in Georgia. No, I mean, I'm in Michigan. Oh yeah, yeah, I know you're. I know you're in Michigan. I know people make people up north make make fun of me because I'm in Georgia complaining about six inches of snow. But we're not equipped for it. 
So six inches of snow is like everyone else is 18, 20 inches. I guess so if you don't have like snow plows on the road the next 10 minutes. Because we're, we're a ride like a machine when it snows up here. Oh, yeah. There's like they come out and you see a whole bunch of cars going one way. You know, those are the snow plow drivers, snow plow yeah, drivers. Right. Because they all, all go at once and they're all like, hurry, go, go, go. And then within like 15 minutes after it snows, they're out on the road freaking plowing and salting. Two trucks yeah. in. Right. Hey, man, man, those guys side. save our lives and hey, winter so, tires, too. All right. So, Obi and, and Mr. Yogi, did you guys get in trouble for horse playing on Titanfall any this week? Uh, <laughs> did y'all do any of that? <laughs> Oh God! I knew it was gonna come up. Can we not comment on that, or do we do we have to? <laughs> no, you have to. I, no, I I didn't. Our collective stance on the next generation, and uh, you know, Obi could chime in, but we've pretty much established on the show that we love the Xbox One, and that'll be our next step. But we're sticking with the PC for now because we're kind of unmoved by. <laughs> we're kind of unmoved. I don't know. I think it's a combination of being old and jaded. You know, it's like kind of more like uh, next gen meh. PC master racers? No, not even. Like I, I, I'm just like I'm at a point where it's like nothing impresses me anymore. I'm like ah, that's, I've seen that last uh, five years. I saw that ten years ago. Ah, whatever. Old whippersnappers. Wait, you're talking graphics or game content though? Game, it's the like... gameplay style and the yeah. concepts is just. Nothing that really makes me go, oh, that's, that, that's, I need to buy the system now. All right, all right, all right. Talking about systems, tonight, we, we, yeah, we just left the mall. Yeah. And, and we, we went into GameStop, and we played for 30 minutes. Oh, here we me go. and the boys, we played <laughs> Donkey Kong on, on the Wii U, which comes out tomorrow. It haunts me everywhere I go. Here right? We go. <laughs> and I, I, I'm going to say this on Horse It's fun. Play. It's fun. But it's as video game as it gets, and I would say that you know the Vita easily overpowers what what Donkey Kong looks like, and I think that's a ten out of ten game, right, Matto? Yeah, they're raving about that. But it's still just a crayon colored <laughs> video game. I mean, it's I mean it's nothing more. You know what I'm saying? It's really good. It's really, and I'm not cutting it down. But it's for next gen. I played the ten out of ten game tonight, and it's uh, it's just it's just a Donkey Kong game. But that's that's a thing, right? You're never gonna hear. Well, we don't have to get into this tonight, but you're never gonna hear Wii U people bash any new <laughs> Nintendo games that are coming out because they're so protective now of the system. Yeah. And I I chroma I chroma keyed. You'll see it when you watch the playback. I chroma Dude. keyed and then moved myself over and then petted the boobs. <laughs> Sure, that's Sorry. awesome. Hey, I, I saw just, that. Uh, and see, I the reason I keep him. laughing, Obi, is because you know I keep looking at the wrong screen. Yeah, I see where Yogi is live, but I keep looking yeah. at the delayed version. So Yogi be over here talking about something, and I saw him moving the Yogi <laughs> name around, and it, he was laughing, but but he was just looking. <laughs> so it's like watching a Japanimation. <laughs> like Japan everything with Yogi, yeah. I keep looking at Yogi down there, but it's not the live Yogi. Yeah. That's why I keep the, the Skype window up, the little preview window up. I keep it up in the middle of my screen right by the webcam. So when I'm talking, I'm looking at you guys or trying to. Yeah, it it helps a little bit. This is messing me up. Yeah. I, it's all new to me, so I, I, I'm getting there. <laughs> Your avatar is flashing. No video. Shame. See, <laughs> see Obi was talking, but it sounded like your voice. <laughs> <laughs> man, we're not gonna get anywhere in this episode. <laughs> no, no. Now, Matt, now, Matt, 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 I think is on a time limit. By the way, Obi. So That's we gotta. Okay. Since I'm artificially inflating it, anyways, it would be unfair to me for to leave in my own time limit if I'm fucking. <laughs> Sorry, crapping around. Uh... I personally don't what? care. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby doesn't Fucking... like to make toys. <laughs> you said the F bomb. I didn't. I, I cut myself like right. No, I heard it. You said fuck. it's fine. You hit wrong. You you were drinking your drink. You heard wrong. It came. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't care. I'm we just right. don't. Wait, we just do. We don't want the the old F this F that F that blah blah. No no no. It, it's gotta mean it. If it, yeah, if it happens naturally and you're passionate about it, yeah. But don't say it just for the sake of saying it. That's our policy. Cause we're not we're not on any we're not syndicating any networks where they're anal about that kind of stuff, and I think we're gonna keep it that way. <laughs> yeah, Mike's an, 
I mean, Matt's a he, he's a nasty biker. You gotta watch that cat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's this horseplay. We just say whatever. We're like sailors here, and meeting in the bar. He looks, he, looks, he looks like he has the persona right now on camera of a nasty biker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at me, nasty I'm, biker. I'm I'm, I'm I'm leaning more towards preppy. Rich kid, but that's just me. Anyway. Rich kid? I would love to be a preppy rich kid. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Matt's packing a knuckle like you wouldn't believe. You yeah, just guys. can't say it. Are we getting into that now? Okay. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? <laughs> no. By the way, if you were looking at the screen right now, who do you think would be the biker in this gang? <laughs> that would be like the third place for bikers in this trio. Me... <laughs> <laughs> let's, go, let's go like this. I'm pointing down to my... Well, so you're you're pointing according to Skype, but you're not pointing pointing in the right direction uh, according I'm to the Twitch. To I think I am. I'm pointing. To no, the you're seat. pointing towards Sean, uh, Sean and <laughs> Skype, and then you're pointing he's towards. Po the <laughs> <laughs> I'm Skype. He's pointing towards uh, Sean's junk. Go the other way. <laughs> no, with your other arm. Oh, yeah. other arm. Poor <laughs> knowledge. Poor knowledge all around. Oh my God. <laughs> And then right now, Freeman Daddy is actually pointing down everybody. Just so you guys, you guys can't, you know, you guys can't see it because you're listening. Bro, I'm off of corner knowledge, you Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What the heck? Someone's got some. Uh, so <laughs> what's that? You Obi fail. Rock I got. Yeah, I know. We're rocking <laughs> out some um, some Avenged Sevenfold. But uh, anyway. Uh, not even gonna talk to this guy. Uh, he knows I'm doing a talk <laughs> show. I, I I actually answered it and then hung up on him. Um, sorry, dude. But anyway, by the way, we are um, we are really uh, something a little bit serious on the serious side. Uh, we're actually in double digits now. Episode. This is episode ten, and we're very very pleased. Like I said before, to have Matt and Freeman with us to talk some zombies. Um, we do guys want to let you guys know you guys can tweet us throughout the show um, our Twitters Twitters <laughs> are on our cameras so you guys can hit us up anytime throughout the show and as well on uh, if you guys are watching us live feel free to chat I'm trying to watch everything at once so if I don't get you in chat the other three are, are, are talking right now in chat I promise and for so, the people listening in and can't see the video after the fact what the Twitters? I'll give the Twitters. I'll give the Twitters. Freeman Daddy Five again. Metal McFly. <laughs> at Yogizilla and at Obi One X Two. And you can tweet us anytime. Yeah. Every and and and, uh, and Matt's throwing gang signs. I'm getting a little scared. Just practicing my pointing. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the? When she was born in a white suit. Who is that, Matt? That wasn't me. Oh no, I'm the only one that on video. I'm busted. <laughs> you were <laughs> you were dancing and no one saw you. What a wasted my, opportunity. My, my toot toot. Is that you, Sean? Don't mess with my toot toot. Yes, yeah, we'll never mess with you too, too. Sean might take my my crown as okay, the king of interruptions. We get too much on toot toot here. <laughs> I want to give everybody uh, some good news. We do have um, Obizilla. Obizilla. I did that again. Yogizilla. <laughs> that's gonna be our new name, guys. On or it's gonna be Obizilla Network. Okay. Um, uh, we are pleased to announce that uh, here. In very short, very short fashion, Geeky Antics Network, Global, or uh, Gang G A N G, um, is in full effect. Uh, so, um, if you guys have any uh, any any podcasts that you guys want to talk about, any anything and everything that you, that uh, you guys want to see and hear, let us know right there. Um, and as well, of course, as our Steam community page, hit us up right there. We do a lot of stuff, giveaways included, on our Steam page. But let's get right into it. We're not going to – I don't want to do too much. We're going to do – I think we got a little bit of news. Um, and then um, we're going to uh, 
we got some fun facts and a couple uh couple quickies. What do you want to do first, Yog? I'm gonna give it to you just because <laughs> I'm I'm lost right now. Actually, I lost where I was at. <laughs> We kind of jumped around all over the plan. That's kind of the nature of things. So uh, that's every week. <laughs> okay. I think what we'll do, we'll, we'll rush through the news in a little bit. But first, uh, what we did back in episode eight, we did a little segment called uh, "Fun Facts" when we had Normie, also from Zombie Cast and Local Baller Radio. She joined us, and we did a little thing called "Fun Facts," where everyone would share a couple of uh, you know uh, anecdotes or fun facts about themselves that. People may not normally know about them. Doesn't have to be too revealing, you know. Whatever you feel like sharing. Um, but I think to keep it moderate, I might have to give us some some guidance, some keywords to go with. <laughs> Moose <But>, knuckle. <laughs> all right, the first one's on the house, and I'll I'll moderate it. For first to get, I know Sean wants to type chime in. So we'll, Sean, share share something fun about yourself. A story, a little a quick story. A little fun fact about yourself for people that may not that may know you or may, may not know you. You know what? I, I've got a real personal fun fact, and, and it's not it, it's not really a fun fact. It's kind of a sad fact, but it's something that's impacted me today. That's uh, that's kind of been on my mind, and uh, you, you know, as of uh, the twenty first, which is tomorrow, and I, and I don't mean to bring it down, but. Uh, I lost my mother seven seven years ago on the twenty first. But uh, you know, the night before I lost my mother, which, which you know, it, it, you know, I, I'm not over it, but uh, but you know, it's just good memories. You know, I, I kissed this guy, and uh, one of the memories of my mother's passing was the midnight before we lost her, which was the release of Crackdown. And I remember, you know, it was, uh, I, I was so excited about Crackdown. And really, it got me through a lot of hard times a couple of months afterwards. But, uh, you know, Crackdown you know, has always been my favorite game. It's been known on Knuckleball Radio, Zombiecast. I always talk about uh, playing Crackdown. But, you know, that's, that's kind of, it's a little more sentimental to me than, than what I've ever expressed. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, almost... Seven years ago, you know, here in about 20 minutes, I was at Walmart waiting to pick up Crackdown for the, the Halo 2 beta code that come with that. And then, uh, you know, what what pretend happened, you know, the day after. But, uh, but, you know, I've had Crackdown on my mind a lot. You know, Yogi, were you ever a fan of this game? You know, I joined, I got into it way after the fact. Like, I played the demo when it first came out. But I wasn't part of like the mad rush about it. Uh, for some reason, I don't know. I, I missed the bus, and I, I don't know what I was playing at the time. But it is a really cool game. It kind of reminded me in some ways of uh, City of Heroes, right? Uh, kind of like the grandeur of it, and you're like a superhero type thing, and the extreme, the extremeness of it. You know? Yeah, yeah. But but you know, just just uh, you know. Y- Something you said personal to me, and like I said, I don't want to bring it down, but uh, you know, seven years ago for a couple months, orb hunting uh, was really medicine to to Freeman Daddy. You know, I mean, it helped me through a lot of hard times, and uh, you know that that that's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about it. But you know, that that's just kind of where I'm at right now. You know, I was sitting here looking at the clock. I was like, you know, seven years ago. You know, I was I was at Walmart right now. You know, just just kind of retraced to the steps seven years later, but. Uh, you know, when it comes to video games and horrors playing, you know, Crackdown is uh, will always be my my favorite game for fun. You know, not just the sentimental factor. You know, it was an awesome game. Matt, did you ever play that game, Crackdown uh, One? Yeah, I did. Not for the Halo Two beta at the time, but uh, no, I certainly and I loved it. It was one of my first uh, introductions to the Xbox 360. It's kind yeah. of a late adapter there. And you know, I I really I played the demo, but I bought it for the Halo Two beta. <clears throat> I, I knew I think that everyone did, yeah. I knew that what it was about because of the demo, but uh, you know, it didn't need the Halo Two beta, man. It was uh, for me, it was like the perfect game. You could go climb the buildings for a little bit, and I really wish next gen, uh, you know, uh, Halo. I mean, uh, uh, Part Two was just not as good, but uh, I, I I really hope Crackdown uh, next gen uh, comes around soon. I really wish it would, dude. You know, it made the way the first one was. 
You know, I know you love Crackdown. I never knew the connection until tonight, so. Yeah, yeah dude. For, for sharing, buddy. Yeah, man. So it's, uh, you know, and like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's a great game on its own, but, uh, but you know, it was, you know, I went to the midnight launch. You know, I stayed up to, to 3 o'clock, you know, and then the next day, you know, it was, you know, what happened yeah. happened. But, but, but anyway, not to bring it down, you know, my, my mother had had a heart attack uh, a month ago. So so I had 30 days to, to, to make things right, you know, which things were right. But uh, it couldn't happen any more perfect, dude. But uh, Crackdown's been on my mind, Yogi. That's uh, That's kind of my personal story for today. Man, it's hard to follow that up now. Yeah, no, no, I'm, not, I'm not going. I give up my turn, guys. That's, I was going to tell good, a story about, like... Good segment. On to the news. Yeah. No, hey, you know, when, I, mean, I was, was sitting here looking at the mic, and I was looking at the thing, and I was like, Ugh. No, buddy, thanks for sharing. I, you got to talk about that stuff. If it's the night, that's obviously going to weigh in on you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Seven years ago, man, uh, Crackdown uh, came out, dude, which, uh, dude, we need a new one next gen, man can't wait i think i think go. sean and i are kindred spirits because i'm a sentimental bastard <laughs> so i have like weird memories attached to things that i shouldn't so i know how that is like there's little places where i go is my my little happy place uh so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so hey, you got games like that um sean you're talking about how you know collecting orbs is therapy I think all of us have that time when like something really bad was going on in our lives and we just like played a game to zone out. And that's part of the reason I love games because when it does get a little rough, you know, I just check in to my PS4, PS3, zone out for a couple hours and I can kind of just readjust. So I, I, I completely understand what you're saying there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's perfect medicine. It's like the perfect drug when you need it sentimentally. Yeah. <laughs> so, titties and boobs, titties and boobs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rub, well, rub. I, you can't see me. I'm rubbing. I'm rubbing. Tune in, tune in, tune in, Tokyo. Oh, man. Okay. Actually, I grabbed yours. I got off topic. Oh, I grabbed guys. yours, Obi. I'm sorry. Uh, I went a little, Thanks. Uh, go a little further to the right. I, I will <laughs> yeah. I will build uh, upon that real quick. And trying to grab her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's trying to grab. Oh, you guys trying to touch the. Yeah, hey, I see what you guys are doing. <laughs> you guys have to see the video, by the way. For people listening on the podcast and getting an audio only, you have to watch the video on YouTube or on yeah, Twitch yeah. to know what's the madness that's going on right now. There's some boob tweaking. But anyway. Did he just say, get off his head? What? <laughs> <laughs> but to build upon what Sean just said. But, but, but if you're looking at the video, you got to admit, dude, my crotch looks like Yogi and Bass crotch <laughs> looks like Obi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Look, your crock just smiling, Matt. Asmodeus in the chat, getting his back on the race. <laughs> well, yeah, one, of my, one of my oldest uh, clan mates, uh, we have a gaming clan where we just, uh, we're more of a social club, and we play lots of different games together across all consoles. It's just a lot of love. We're, we're a gaming clan ba based, uh, same kind of uh, principles you have, Sean, like building family. That's more important to us than any single game. And, uh... As Modius has said, uh, one of the oldest games we used to play, that when a lot of us were, this is back in late 90s, early 2000s, when we were, a lot of us were, and we were in a dark place, we would go to this game to seek, uh, you know, companionship and friendship and a shoulder to lean on. And it was one of the most simple, cheesiest games ever. It was a game called Ark. You probably never heard of it. It's yeah. Attack, Retrieve, uh, Capture. And the uh, interesting thing about this game and I went through a dark place myself during this time. Uh, I had an uncle that committed suicide, and you know that was a place I went to to kind of just escape that for a little while and just not get be stuck in, in my own head because I'm the, I'm that kind of person. If you give me too much quiet time, bad things happen. I have to keep myself right busy. Yeah. So you know, um, just you know, the arc. He made really bring up. He brought up a good point. And the fun thing about arc is there was a lot of there's a lot of history in that game because it's been remade by a, a new uh, new group. Uh, under a spiritual successor, but the, also the company that the people that originally made Ark are now the people that behind PopCap, and they're old friends of ours. So it's like a lot of history there, and a lot of nostalgia there. And even though the game, the spiritual successor, is nothing like it used to be, it's like one of those games that every now and then I'll still go into just to have that community, that tightly knit community, and bring back those good memories of people that you know, people miles away, and they, you got a support group there. So I, I'm totally there with you, Sean. I, that was my game that I could definitely think of right off the top of my head. 
Uh, that, that definitely is that for me. That sentimental escape of sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure medicine, man. For real. Matt, have you ever had any, like, uh, maybe just a game like that that, that just kind of settled in uh, sentimental reasons? Uh, yeah, there's always times, right? I mean, there's, um, thankfully, both my parents are still with us. Um, you know, but there's been deaths in the family where you just kind of spend that night just kind of saying, I'm going to deal with this tomorrow, but for tonight, I'm just going to go with my safe zone, which, you know, during a couple of times was back in the PS2 era, so it was like either Tomb Raider or... Leaves your suit, Larry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That would be a little creepy. Matt, see, Obi can relate to that one. <laughs> yeah, Obi, come on, you got to relate to that one. Great. It's backwards. No, it's, it's 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 straight for us. Is it? Yeah, your local video is always backwards. Okay. It, it's mirrored for you. <laughs> so for those that can't see the video, Matt's holding up a, a cue card of sorts that said it says fart, and it's pointing down. Who's that pointing down to? Okay. <laughs> there you go. He's cueing us to there fart. <laughs> Sorry. Even though the cue was on, you know, camera. Well, I mean, hey, everybody, everybody that's watching, I'm going yeah. to cue Inside baseball now. for the three. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I forgot we're not actually recording the video part. But, uh, well, we, uh, record, we record both. We do an audio yeah. and a video yeah. save, yeah. Oh, look at I'll you guys. You. Yeah. Gotta... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're so we. <laughs> Oh, I got something out, but I don't have my video. I'd rather just be, you know, lay on, lay, you know, lay on my back and be on the bottom. Let them sit right. where they need to be, All you right. know. Cool. <laughs> if I can, pick them up and put them where they need to be if they don't want to go. Is that your fun fact, Obi? <laughs> you like to let them sit where, where they, wherever they fall? Hence, hence <laughs> the keyword morning wood. Okay, I'm on top. Stick your tongue out, Yogi. Boing. 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 No. <laughs> Yogi, stick your tongue out. I just did. I'm not going to do it any longer. I'm going to change the cameras around right now, man. That's kind of a fun fact. I have a, a pretty freakishly <laughs> long tongue, I've been told. They're going to put Here's us on the, the bottom, thing. Matt. We're going to be He's... the wieners. Uh, we're the bottoms now? Uh, no. It's a power position. It's all right. It's so, did, I, did everybody have a round? Obi, did you take your round? I, yeah. I think Matt Morning. shared his round. Yeah. I didn't really take my round, but I, I don't want to, you know, I want to leave Sean with his thing because that's the, that was a powerful moment. Um, I know. So hopefully I'll be back so I can have an, I can think of a story I can tell because right now it's all silly stories and I feel that doesn't fit in with. The yeah. Insurance. All right. So I'll, I'll bring it back. Do it. I'll bring it back without making you feel bad about overshadowing that moment. <clears throat> no, I can't overshadow that uh, moment. Uh, <laughs> okay, good. The mo good. You're not going to overshadow. That's awesome. I'm glad the moment's already passed, so <laughs> we're going on, so McFly. What up? <laughs> what you got? Uh, for what? How about I give a keyword, and you, need, you can share. <laughs> Tell you what, this is what we'll do for the fun your facts. Keyword, I'll share a keyword. keyword. is Apple. <laughs> okay. He's like, okay, I... go. Apple, uh, yes. Yeah. Be Apple better, yet, better, yet, better yet, better yet, better yet, better yet, better yet. Let's do it this way. All right, ask me a question. How about you ask me a question? Any question you want to know of me, ask me a question. <laughs> any uh, any question? Oh, my goodness. That's, that's going to be a load of gun. Let's do it like this. We'll do two more rounds until we can keep moving along. We got a lot of, a lot of a little bit of news to do, and then we're going to go to our main segment where we actually oh, talk about zombies. There. What's this guy doing? But uh, <laughs> I got some keywords. You guys ready? This will right. be, be just for Sean and Matt. All and right, and right, you guys could take... What are we doing? I'm going to give some keywords, and then you guys can come up with an anecdote or a fun fact about yourself. Oh, okay. With a long, all the keywords. We'll do two or three rounds. But right. you guys could, between Sean and Matt, everybody pretty much already knows us. We're going to assume about, that everybody knows how about, us. How about Sean, Sean, Matt, 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 Sean. Sean, Matt, Matt, Sean. And that way we'll take turns going first. All right, so, but, but you, uh, for this first one, I want one of you to s snatch it if, if, you, if, you, if, it, if it matches you. All right? All right. All right. All right. And you got to buzzer in. The, f right. the, 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 little, the little thing. Oh, we can't see Sean do the buzzer, so that's cheating. Okay, what you gotta, you gotta do? Well, I'll do this. <laughs> and I'll do, get to the chopper. <laughs> my buzz. All right, so the keyword is the doctor. Get to the chopper. I got one. Uh, when I was born, the doctor said I wouldn't survive the night because when they were taking me out, they cracked my skull. 
and apparently it caused way too much damage. My parents were getting ready to say goodbye to me that night. Um, but somehow I healed over, and if you shave my head, you'll see a big dip in my head because of that crack. So that's why I can never shave my head, because it is a little uh, wonky now. Damn, you guys are sharing some really heavy stuff tonight. <laughs> I thought he was... Ah, he shaved his head! We might have to rename this episode the the Matt Bradford and Sean Freeman intimate hour or two. That's a good fault. <laughs> or two. Joke, by the way. Nah, normally it's like, yeah, I'm not even talking about it. <laughs> That was good though. That was good. That's 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 a good fun fact. I, well, I feel honored to have you guys share so much on the show tonight. I almost feel bad following up with. <laughs> we got more. We got more. We got more. Next, uh, I'll give you a pick, guys. Uh, the, I'll give you a pick of the litter. I know which one Sean's gonna want to buzz in on, so I'll just put it as part of this. Uh, Cowlick, dancing apple. Ooh, dancing apple. No, da Cowlick, comma. Dancing, oh. comma, apple. Those three phrases or keywords. Sean, I know you want to go first for this one. To talk apple? About apple I know he wants to pick the apple one. Go ahead, Sean. Share your apple story. We know we know how you feel about Sean, about apple. Apple simply works, and the other stuff just sucks. That's it. Well, apple, apple constricts you to their own formula, while the other stuff gives you freedom to make <laughs> the communication devices you wanted in the first place. <laughs> It's true. Apple, you gotta, if you're gonna say, if you're gonna choose Apple, you gotta choose an intimate story, like a little anecdote. Like one time, I was at the Apple store and I accidentally sharded myself. I don't know, something like that. Um, <laughs> wow, dead silence. Holy hell! I said sharded every. The apple while he was dancing, um, with morning wood. Whoa! Yeah. 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 And he was balancing it on his morning wood. This is <laughs> this is Sean with Apple products. My process. I love my process. <laughs> Apple products. Please, please, master, give me my process. Four point oh two. It'll make it so much better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now they have colors for iPhone five. Oh, revolution! Not, not going wood, but I would have to say, you, you know, uh, the podcast that I do. People seem to like, and, and I got to I gotta owe a lot of the success of the things that I do with podcasting to the software that I use on Apple, the clarity, the, the professionalism that Apple brings to the table. And, and Android sucks, Matt. <laughs> so that's, I that's... You're like, uh, such a good argument, and then an Android sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's uh, fun fact is something that every, anyone that knows him Remotely, will know he's an Apple fan. Hey, Boy. Matt, I, I did tell you, I did, and we talked about this before, about Minesweeper coming to Android. I hear, <laughs> I hear, it's going to be in color. It's going to have the it's gonna green background. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to be black, white, and green background. I hear you can have co-op, local co-op, but... Uh... With red bombs. Oh, man. No, that's that's the up, that's the DLC. you got to pay for that. Yeah, yeah, Android won't do red. <laughs> that Apple was a lot. Mind sweeper, it'll be called iMindsweeper, and you'll have to get a license and then 10 updates throughout the time you play it. Oh, I got one. Yeah. When we were we were playing Arma 2, and I, I play it in a, a clan, okay, and what they have, this is really funny, um, it's called 21st Hunting Simulator, okay? Half of the half of the people that you can get into the on the server as are drunk russian hunters and the other half are woodland animals what the hell the first time i this listen the first time i tried this and i was like oh this is gonna be awesome and they said be a rabbit well i'm gonna go through everything and i'll tell you why he said be a rabbit in a second well you have cows okay so the first time i was a cow I went up and licked a hunter, and he shot me in the face. Okay. Second time, I was a goat. Not a good idea. Third time, I was a pig. Not a good idea. Fourth time, this is the funny part. Now, rabbits, they go three times the speed as everything else. And then um, on our server, the rabbits actually have little suicide vests to where if you... Hit escape and respawn, you blow up. 
Nice. So we have rush at the rush Russian hunters, and they're all drunk, staggering around talking trash. And we just run up with rabbits and just boom, Let's blew them up. Little rabbit, come up, say hello. Oh no, I die. Go <laughs> boom. That's something Borat. Yes, <laughs> my wife. That's a, is that a mod for Arma? Is that what you were saying? Uh, like, it's it's actually a it's a it's a mod one of our uh, members created. That's kind of, actually boom. ingenious. It's 21st yeah. Hunting Simulator. It's fucking awesome, man. That sounds like something it's I would crazy. actually enjoy. I have to revisit Arma 2 and Gary's Mod at that. There's so many mods for those two games. Gary's Mod. Isn't that a life of its own by now? Yeah, yeah. It's its own standalone thing, and they got all, like a bunch of like add-ons for it. It's crazy. And well, they got they made... zo zombie add-ons for it, by the way. Absolutely. And they made Stanley Parable out of, uh, I think, a Half-Life. The same engine, didn't they? Yes. Stanley Parable? Yes. Which is a great game, by the way. If you like narrative. <laughs> if you like mine, um, I don't want to say the F word. The humor is brilliant. Ah! You can say it. Nah, nah, we don't care. Long. Mind but, screw. It's a mind job. It's, it's it not is. a game. It's a game about games. Brilliant. Yeah, it's brilliant humor. It's indescribable. It, it's, yeah. it, it's very, it's, it's, a, it's a interactive. That's, you know, I won't get into an argument, but I think it's more of an interactive story than a video game. Yeah, there's no lose conditions. Yeah, there's no lose condition. I mean. There's just different, you know. Well, that blows. Endings. I don't ever want to play that game. It all, it's, 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 it's experience. an experience. Yeah, yeah. There's a, it's interesting. Yeah. It's very immersive. It is, it is really cool. I'd like, they have that Oculus Rift thing coming out now. Uh, well, in the next couple of years. I'd love to play it with that because that's going to revolutionize first person gaming, especially zombie games. If we need a cool segue. But it's, um, like, just, I've seen people play horror games with the Oculus Rift. And it blows my mind. I can't wait to get into that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And that and the the hydras that for the motion control. Have you seen those or the stems? No. Hydra. It's uh, I think it's called Hydra, the Razor Hydra, where it's two like we remotes kind of, and you control yourself completely. It's supposed to go hand in hand with the Oculus Rift. Oh, so, cool. Mm. So one gives it's, you the field of like vision. A, it's like a it's like a a, a Wii. Um... The screen, but it's actually got it's actually got a controller on it to where you can actually turn and actually turn the screen and actually uh, do different things. And it's got buttons and thumb triggers and then joystick triggers and then it's got other buttons on the side. And it's well, yeah, it's, it's, in the, like, it's independent it's like of the screen. It's like six hundred bucks. So I mean, it's not Shit. anything I'm gonna get anytime soon. Well, that's the cool thing so, about it is that they have the stem, which is I think just came out of Kickstarter, and they have the Hydra. These are just mm -hmm. peripherals for the controlling of your character, yeah, and yeah. then uh, and the and then when, if you use that in conjunction with the Oculus Rift, it's more the Oculus Rift is more for just controlling your field of vision. Yeah. So, yeah. some ah, interesting I'm stuff. This yeah, it's gonna be, be crazy. <laughs> interesting next ten years, I think. Well, Very ex desk. Very <laughs> expensive. <laughs> like, see my computer. <laughs> all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you hear a boom. <laughs> what What's that? Matt's like, sorry. <laughs> Pressure. I don't like being watched. Yeah, I'm being told in the chat that my eyes look like TVs. And that's what happened. I have mega glare. I need to fix the lighting situation in there, here. Said, uh, this guy named Freeman Daddy. There's a, those are my eyes. Those must be Apple glasses because they're screwing <laughs> up already. Yeah, these are, this, these are my Google glasses. I, I'm actually getting a teleprompter here. <laughs> I'm jacked into the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> and Obi's doing his little Stevie Wonder thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just called. All right, let's move on. Because <laughs> I think if we do any more fun facts, you know, Honestly, man, I, I love you. I think we, I think we just have to decide that. I got caught in the moment. <laughs> I look like a sixteen-year-old in my picture, by the way. I'm just realizing. Yeah, <laughs> you actually look like a twelve-year-old, but that was I know. Amazing. Let's just say, well, I'm a page. <laughs> Hey guys, let's just agree that we're gonna have to get the gang back, the, this this same gang back on the show again. I gotta make myself look 32. What are we doing already? <laughs> no, well I think we're gonna move on to the to the news so we can get on to the zombie stuff. What the yeah. heck? <laughs> He's fluffing his hair, making him look older. Oh yeah. <laughs> look, it's like instant conversion. <laughs> oh, you're the glasses come off. Oh, now he looks like a Unibomber. <laughs> so anyway. Sean, yeah. Sean and Matt, like, I know you guys both, uh, I know it's late for you guys. We're, we're the Midnight Crew, so we go very late, and I know you guys have a yeah. uh, limited time. Hey, can I tell one joke before we move on? 
No. Yeah. I just, I just thought right. about that. But I just want to say real quick, though. You guys do have to come back. So, yeah. on the episode when we don't have a theme, because obviously we all go on tangents like crazy. <laughs> We have to, at some point, we have to get to the zombie that stuff. Will be, that, that episode will be a special episode, and that episode will be will be done. And this is going to be a, uh, we're going to throw a knuckleball in it. And <laughs> I'm not telling anybody how the show is going to go. You guys just show up. I like that. I like that idea. That's going to be the special show, Yogi. We'll talk about special that. Special tangent That's show. Yeah. We'll yeah, I, I got a joke. I, I All right, Chuck. Okay, joke time. It, it'll, t- it'll take me a second, all right? Great joke, man. Awesome there, joke. There, there's, this thing, <laughs> there's this thing called honor, Honorable Mountain. And on top of Honorable Mountain, you've got, you've got, a, you've got an American, a uh, guy from the United States. You've got a Canadian. And, uh, there's, a, and there's a Polak. A Polak. <laughs> Wait, the Polak. Straight to the slangs for the Polak. Oh, man. This is going to be good. <laughs> So, so all the guys, you know, before they jump off the mountain, they want to dedicate something that's passionate to their life. So the American gets up there, and he's like, you know, I'm going to do this for my country. And he pushes off the Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> well, Sean, there was another part to that joke, actually. Wasn't it at, right after he pushed the Canadian? Yeah, after he pushed the Canadian off, he, he told him as the guy as the Canadian is falling down, he said the guy's like ah, and then he's like, by the way, you don't have real bacon in your country. Ooh, yeah, dude, I, I made that up, man. I was thinking about. That. <laughs> we 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 see that you made it up because it's really obvious you made it up. But it has to take. All right, here's the judge scale. Here's right. the judge scale. Oh, wait, before you get the judge scale, you know, we had the whole United States Canada wars all the time. That's true. And you know what? Our boys are going up against each other in hockey soon. <laughs> oh, gosh. He's oh, doing oh. the scale. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's it going to be? Oh, it's getting heavy. It's getting it's, heavy. It's, 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 it's about right there. It's, it's about right there. It's not a full thumbs up, though. It's, it's about a, a, it's about a full full thumb. Where's your true America <laughs> spirit, boy? America! I pushed the Canada off. I pushed the Canadian <laughs> off. Look right there. Come okay. on, Obi. Come on, Obi. Injustice. Up, up, up. What's, what's funny hey, is... Hey, we'll say, hey, Canuck. I pushed him off, Obi. I pushed him off. <laughs> you did. You jerked him off. What? What? That doesn't happen I, on a map. What? That's all I heard was I jerked him off, Obi. I jerked him off. <laughs> wow. We are. Zombies, eh? Zombies. Well, yeah. We're, we're about to jump into the zombies, guys. We promised. We're going to do some quick news, and then we're going to jump into the the segments. We're going to talk about some Walking Dead, and then we're going to talk everything zombies thereof. I know we have uh, some some Walking Dead reactions that we want to share for the season four comeback, uh, and uh, we'll try to keep it as spoiler free as possible because Obi's really, really behind. Sorry, Obi. You'll, you'll probably you know what you'll probably forget by the time you get to to those episodes. No, in my memory, definitely. I'll okay. Tomorrow morning. Yeah, <laughs> so I won't feel so bad about spoiling it for you. Are there many spoilers in the last couple episodes? So how far off are you, Obi? <laughs> no, he's in season two. I mean, to be fair, season one. To be fair, I recently caught up on two, like two season uh, one, two seasons myself. Well, we don't have to talk Walking Dead. We, I mean, it's gonna come up, but well, no, we're gonna talk Walking Dead. What this is what the show is about. You won't even know so... who we're talking about. Yeah, I won't care. The There's only other the only thing is thing... zombies. What well, Susan Dead. dies? I, he don't know. Who's that... Susan is. Yeah, he doesn't know that Herschel. Uh... Turns into a zombie. <laughs> so, you want me to, you want to do the news, Obi, or shall I? No, <laughs> I don't. You know, I'm mad at Matt right now. What did I do? Uh, I'm, I'm just throwing. Anybody gets up. mad at Matt. I don't know why. Matt, I, Matt's I, one I of the nicest not... guys. Hey, would you want me to be mad at you? Yes, I like Yogi. That. Oh, then I'm just gonna be mad at somebody. And Matt Yogi, is the Yogi first person I look smiled. at. I'm, a, I'm running. Yogi's on top like, of I don't care. Start. Whatever, man. Let's go over some news. Into the news. <laughs> I love you, Yogi. I love you guys too. 
I still feel bad about missing the Kodak moment in the beginning. <laughs> hey, the average bear. But, uh, so yeah, some obligatory news. I'll try to run through it real quick so we can jump into the zombie stuff. Cause I know we're already, like, an hour in or so. But, uh, so speaking of the Olympics, you guys actually set up a good segue there. I should have taken advantage of it. But, uh, you know, apparently a big deal right now is that there's stray dogs in Sochi. And, it's, and uh, they've become kind of the unofficial Winter Olympic mascots. So... Now, I heard that they hired people to kill the stray dogs in Sochi. Yes! Yeah, and then they stopped That's the them. part that pissed me off. And they did yeah. stop it. They did stop that. But mm -hmm. the spokespeople initially of the Olympics, uh, they were like saying, oh, uh, no healthy dog will be, you know, uh, euthanized. Jeez. You know, like, what's the criteria for that? I mean, if, if they got yeah. mange, they're going to kill them. You know, and mange could be cured. I mean, I'm sure they're doing a bunch of tests before they put that. Uh, yeah, a big, ba a wide battery of tests. Yeah, I don't think so. It's like, uh, you look sickly, <laughs> done. So, you know, uh, that upset me because I, I don't know about you guys, but, I, you know, I'm a dog lover. I, I love animals, period, and that upset me. But apparently a lot of the people that are participating in the Olympics, the, the, a lot of the Olympians are actually taking in the stray dogs. So that's a, that's a happy end to that story. But, uh, you know, I, I can relate to that. Like, even in my neighborhood, there's a lot of stray dogs, and it pisses me off because people, they get pets. And then they think is they're like kind of like toys, and then they get bored of them, and they realize, oh, there's a lot of work involved. And I'm just gonna let them go. <laughs> you know, and it, oh god, I, I want to strangle those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I have some friends like that who really want a cute pet, but once that pet actually becomes work, um, they either they consider giving them back or giving them to friends, and it, it makes me mad as well. So I'm right Dude, there I, I love my dogs, man. You know, every day when I get home from work, I, I honestly feel like. They're believers, and I'm Justin Bieber. Believers? Oh my yes. <laughs> and I'm Justin Bieber. I mean, yeah, the dogs are always happy to see me, man. I mean, it's uh, it's like, it's like New Year's. You know, the strike of New, New Year's Day on New Year's Eve. Uh, every time you come home, man. I, I mean, I absolutely love my dogs, man. And I would hurt someone over them. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Uh. So, but yeah, where, where did happy you hear the news story that they're being treated nicely now? Did that come out of like the Russian news press corps? Or no, like like, our dogs are being treated good. Don't worry. No, no it was a third party. Story yeah. by it was Putin. A third party. Well, it was the <laughs> yeah. same third. It was the same third party that I actually was talking. My wife was doing a lot of, you know, figuring out, you know, uh, you know what kind of living arrangements and all that stuff had over there. <laughs> and there's no running water for most of the athletes when they first got there. All the hotels, they were like all the motels. Most of them were like three weeks to a month behind. And oh building them, yeah, they, so they like claim. half the athletes didn't have even have a room to go into. Oh man! Um, no running even, water. Uh, they, a lot of the water that was that was there, they said you couldn't you couldn't have contact with the skin on your face. <laughs> that the water you was today. I mean, you you couldn't even put it on your skin. You couldn't even yeah. wash your face with this water. Okay, yep. that's how bad it is. That's so Sochi's where the zombie yeah. apocalypse starts. Exactly, dude. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> But it's like a high tourist destination. That's that's one thing I didn't understand. Yeah, uh, it, you know, it it's make like a resort sense. area, but but all, well, all the resorts are, yeah, a lot of them they say are still halfway done. Well, part of it was the the main resort or the main two resorts that are actually in basically well, right in Moscow, um are they're all done and those were filled up like immediately because of all the people that have already been there or just whatever. But you got to think about it. They've had two years, no less than two years, to get this stuff done. I they had four years. And, Don't they bid yeah, for this like a just, long time ago? Yeah. yeah. Four years. <laughs> they give them the final, okay, it's going to be here. Yeah. You know, you know, it, you know, they say possibilities and all that stuff, and then they give them the final, it is going to be in Sochi or whatever it's called. Well, they hand the flag off, right? When, when, like when the Olympics end uh, this this coming weekend, uh, they'll hand the flag off to the next city, right? I don't know. I don't really, dude. I don't pay attention to the the, the Olympics. Well, it's, for me, it's just a bunch of people that do weird things, such as um, USA. USA. <laughs> I'm kind of on board with Obi's line of thinking. I see people like that's cool, but then I think about it, I'm like, okay, so they just learned how to 
walk on ice real fast. <laughs> like, I mean, really, why do I care about somebody, <laughs> some guy that's, you know, six foot tall and wearing a the tightest Speedo I've ever seen a man wear in my life and going 150 miles an hour on a sheet of ice? I don't give a damn. If I wanted to see that, I'm going to watch hockey. And what does that create? What does that create, Obi? A moose? <laughs> moose? No. Sandwich. No. <laughs> oh man! You know, I, but, but I've been watching the Olympics, uh, Obi. You know, I'm a huge fan of it. One thing I did find myself uh, doing this time watching the Olympics was one, I was voting for the Jamaican bobsled team, <laughs> and two, the <laughs> three fun. sisters, the the mogul, the three sisters from Canada, right. were just like the cutest things. I, I, I you know, I was gung ho voting for them <laughs> to win. Can I? I'm gonna step in here. And I'm gonna be the wet blanket here. I'm getting a little tired of the. This is sound lame. The hypersexualization. If if someone's a woman in the Olympics now, they're, you're gonna find a picture of them like half naked the next day. Yeah, like, like in like uh, if they're uh, they're runners, <laughs> they're actually in freaking bathing suits or freaking half nothing. Well, it's just it just I don't know. I don't. Well, what about on a, or on a kind of bobsled? With a, doesn't it? Like congratulations on being the best in the world. Now pose for this. Now picture. we're gonna show you naked. Yes. Yeah. That's that's your Come pose for Playboy. Well, I mean, to be fair, the Olymp the spirits of the spirit of the Olympics is it's part pissing contest. Like in, on one hand, the countries are spitting at each other, but on the other hand, it, it's supposed to be a goodwill type thing, right? Or it's, that's what it's supposed to be, but not we always the case. But but no, but listen, but listen. So what better way to build goodwill than to show every, every every other country your boobies and be like, ooh, those are good boobies. I mean, that's, I mean, few things can unite people other than, like, boobies and music. I mean, let's be boobies honest. You've you know, you seen show. one. I'm sorry to say it, and I'm sorry, Matt. Give me one second. Yeah, I'm really, and you got guys that say, oh, all tits are different. Fuck that. No, they're not. A tit is a tit. They're either big. They're either small, they're either fat, they're either skinny. They got big nipples, small nipples, silver they dollars, brown dollars. They slim up but or they slim down. They're connected it's the same. to blondes it's a tit. connected to gorillas. That's the difference. It's a tit. Some are, some are also banana shaped, like the ones from the 80s. You well, remember you know those? A boob's a boob, man. Banana shaped okay. boobies. For those that are know, actually man. watching, uh, for those that are actually watching live right next to me, these are what you would call a perfect tit. Okay. Fast domino has to um, but to a gotta, that's of course, and 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 so, a bear head song, but still, it's it, a, a boobs a boob, man. I don't I don't understand why. Yeah, you I disagree with you, Obi. There's oh boobs are a, an, an amazing world of diversity. It's I I find I'm still stunned by when I see a new, but I don't see a new boob ever. I just realized my wife's in the laundry room next to her. Well, no, I think uh, every wife's wife, aware of that. You can you can turn it up, turn your speakers up if you want to. But my wife, you, you got to think about it. This is what my wife says to me every time. I don't give a f if you look at the menu, as long as you don't order nothing to eat. Yeah, yeah, pretty okay. much. I gotta say, I gotta I say, with the Olympics, boobs all day long, and she doesn't care as long as I don't rub it in her face and go, "Baby, look at those boobs." are huge you know i don't do that shit and she's <laughs> trying she she try she i'm looking i did and yeah <laughs> and now you know, i'm on my third happy happy wife happy life yeah yeah she wasn't happy so i wasn't having a good day <laughs> that was a sad story. But, 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 uh, but overall <laughs> when it comes to sex appeal in the olympics you know you talking about showing skin and stuff I found it on these Olympics, like, uh, like say, like, the, the girls of age, say, like, when they're at the top of the ski thing, and they got on the cute goggles and, and they, they, you know, the, the little cute, pretty lips that they have. I, I think that the sex appeal is just there, you know, j just like, like the European blondes to, yeah, you know, I, I don't think it takes skimpy bathing suits and posing magazines, things like that. Yeah, you know, I think the sex in itself just... I think the sexiness is the talent. And is the talent, movies. but but if you yeah. notice, Matt, like 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 how cute their lips are. I mean, no, just that's creepy, dude. I, I, I mean, just look how cute that the girls are. You know, just just wearing you know the helmet and, and the goggles. It's just I can just the, see the Sean in his room. 
Freeman, you need a you need a flashlight, man. <laughs> I, I, I I I will oh, back. Indeed, dude. I'm gonna back. I'm gonna back up Sean. I'm gonna save Sean. I, I do agree. There's more to them than the, the boobs. I actually like shapely legs, and a lot of them have shapely legs. Like, not, I don't like the really muscular ones. I like the ones that are thick, but not like like diesel. Like they're gonna crush you between their legs. That's scary. And then nice boy. <laughs> <laughs> be like wal crushing walnuts between the thighs, like how are you like this? Yes. These are Russian thighs. <laughs> Wait, actually, you guys remember? Before, we'll leave the Olympics uh, at this, on this note. But you guys remember in the Summer Olympics there was this one girl. Um, it was I think she was representing Australia. She was like uh, one of the, I don't know. She ran one of the track and field uh, events, a few of them, and uh, she had like the, the the most winningest smile ever. Like, uh, I forgot what her name was. Something ne Nemke or something? You guys remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, the brunette? Yeah, yeah. Angela Nemke, I think her name was. Now, she was a real cutie. Yeah. And it was really her smile. I mean, before I saw the boobs, you know. Which, well, I, I never knew there were boob shots, but her smile was definitely winning. Well, taking it well, back. I, I, sorry. I was, I was just going to ask one question. When it, when it comes to sports, you, you've got the manless men watching football, right? But but the only way to get men to watch sports is it's got to be some, it's got to be men watching sweaty men because men watching hot chicks play soccer doesn't work. <laughs> why? Why? Chicks why? Playing why? tennis is good though. Yeah, oh. yeah but, but still, it, or it's volleyball. not like yeah. Beach. Beach. volleyball. Absolutely. The only or way to be successful in a sport is men mm. watching men. So think about that, guys. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather. Yeah, that's honestly, what I think see, about when I'm watching sport. Ooh, sausages. See, like the Swedish soccer team in Umbros is a. You would think that would be more successful than some burly dudes sweating. I think the hot dog eating contest is probably the sexiest sport. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, do you understand quick, what I'm saying, Matt? Why, I while think you I do. Are, while we're talking and everything, I just want to come in real quick. While you guys are talking, kind of boost up your mics a little bit. We got people that can't sure. hear you. There you go. But to kind of go back to my go. original point, just kind of maybe as a capper, um, I think what I'm getting pissed off is is we had some really good performances by some women skiers and uh, whatnot. Um, but the main thing seemed to be, oh look how hot they are. Uh, congratulations hey. on being hot. And like, no, how about can we congratulate them on training for their life and having a huge accomplishment instead of immediately Sex. jumping? Sex sells. I understand, but I, that that doesn't mean I can't be mad at it. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to keep doing it and say they're not going to laugh at you and call you yes, a queer. It does not like I, I when I say it, it's going to happen. I'm writing the Olympic Committee after we after this program. Okay. All I'm going <laughs> to say is don't. By the way, who watches Olympics to get off when you got Google right next to you? Let me tell you something, Grandpa. And then, and then we're going to move on to the rest of the news oh, so we can finally get to zombies. Yeah. But yeah. I'm going to say this. The only difference between how women are objectified and men, there's, I, I know plenty of women that look at the guys with the tight shorts and they say, and they are no noticing their package or the nice buttocks. The only thing is that women are a lot buttocks. more dis buttocks. You know, I like those buttocks now. I'm sorry, I'm Latino. Sometimes I have a little swing in my in my talk. <laughs> but listen, but the women are just more discreet about it. That's all it Maybe. is. Maybe. Maybe. Can I they think, do it you know, on the low? I know sex sells. Um, I'm talking more about the, the immediate pictures that go up when a woman wins something in the Olympics on Facebook. I, I, all of a sudden, Facebook's wall is like, now here's them posing. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Like, do we need that? Like, that's but, not. But it drives traffic. Problem. It drives yeah. traffic. You get the clicks. Absolutely. They get the ad. You know, that's what works. That's I understand what works. why. I'm just saying I just don't. I don't like that trend. I know. I, I agree. And I, I, I super enjoy women. It's not that I'm. <laughs> Don't no, I am with you. But still, look at it this way. That might be the initial hook, and then it might actually, because they they came to look at boobies and booty and legs and nice smiles or whatever they, that they like, then they, yeah. they'd see it, the athleticism and appreciate that part. Because honestly, a lot of those events people won't look at to begin with unless they saw that. And, oh, she's pretty. Oh, wow. She's pretty good. Oh, look at her. Wow. And then I'd be like, Matt. oh, she's a good athlete. So. But, 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 but would you guys agree to this? Because, you know, you've got people say like the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, right? My yeah, wife man. watches the reality show for them. They make, like, they make like $18 a game. $18 a game. What? Right? Oh, because they get so many deals probably out of that. Because, you know, they sell, you know, off of photo shoots, calendars, yeah. and things like that. So what do you think? 
some of these Olympic people, some of them get sponsors. But it, what is in it an Olympic career, pay-wise? Oh yeah, you, know, you you might have to go to to like FHM magazine, yeah, and, and pose in the cotton, you know, not nude photos. But, so what if you're but, you an ugly saying? woman? You're saying you don't have a chance then in a Olympic career. <laughs> More than likely, if you're ugly, you're not in the Olympics. Buzz the <laughs> killing team. Think about well, what you're you not just in, said. You're not in shape. Well, I am thinking about what I said, but. You can you, you can have an saying? athletic I, I, person, but they can be unattractive. Pay... I've I, seen some. I've, I've, I've seen some really fugly people in the Olympics, <laughs> by the way. Mary Bro, some some skaters, fugly some of the big of skaters are not. You don't want to see a photo shoot with them. So. <laughs> but they're, they're athletic. Like, like Mary Lou Ratton, but yeah, you know, I mean, she she got every spot, Wheaties and all that. But but I mean, is there pay? I mean, is it is there an income being an Olympian? I mean, that's why we asked. Maybe that's why they do it. I like how we went from stray dogs to the objectific objectification of women in the Olympics, or just in general. <laughs> that we, just this, in the Olympics. I like titties. So. You guys are definitely Matt. Matt and Sean are definitely part of the horseplay crew now because we <laughs> cannot maintain a focus at all. <laughs> Speaking of focus, we can't maintain uh, a full fucking conversation. <laughs> oh man! All right, so let's blaze right, through right, the news. What, what, all right, oh. which would win? Women's topless NFL or the regular <laughs> NFL? Uh, that's a no-brainer. I think top I, I th the boobies <laughs> would lose, dude. I think. Oh, I think the boobies They're... would lose because you got Google. People can find anything they want now. They don't have to work for it. You don't need. That's to true. Anymore. You don't need to. But a topless would. People. The topless would stay up afloat. <laughs> it, <laughs> I hope it, so. it 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 definitely stay afloat longer than the just XFL than the XFL Yogi's did. These ticket sales. <laughs> But when it comes to sex appeal, I think almost seeing is better than seeing. Sorry. <laughs> like FHM and stuff like, like that. Side yeah. boob? You like side boob more than full boob? I like under boob, by the way. Impre impressions. Yeah. Oh, yeah, leaving and leaving uh, more to the imagination. I agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot, like FHM, to me, is a lot of times more sexier than, than Playboy could ever be fully nude. Yeah. Like Ma Maggie, uh, Lauren Co Cohan, she's got some like uh, shots oh, where it's un under oh. boob. Oh my goodness! We'll talk about that when we talk about watching Walking Dead. Hello, Google. Did you see her on Conan O'Brien? Oh, oh the, the prettiest girls I've ever seen. She is. On, the, she and you know on, what? When, no, when she was on Conan O'Brien in that black and white dress. And it's not My even. My wife was even like, "Wow!" And it's not even to cop out. It's her smile. She's got a smile that's just like, "Whoa!" I mean, the rest of her is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I'm a man. I mean, it's there. But her smile is like, "Whoa!" It's like, I, I think she's the main reason. Like some episodes that drag on in The Walking Dead, I still watch. But we'll get to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I got a half hour, and I know I've been derailing, so I know it's my fault. But let's all right, all right. Zombies. Well, well, yeah, let's finish up the news real quick, then we'll go into zombies. I know, ah, oh, man. Matt, we don't want to lose you, man. We're having fun. You gotta go to yeah, bed I, I got about a half hour, too. I got, I got work at 5 a.m. You guys are crazy. Is it actually, is it 1230 for you guys as well? Yes. Go. We're crazy. All right, so we'll go through the news real quick. So, you know, everybody heard about the whole Flappy Bird thing, so I'm going to skip that. The other thing I'm going to say that's it's, it's funny, uh, like he kind of had a, a Kurt Cobain moment. <laughs> this, uh... The, the developer of Flappy Bird, the, 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 yeah. you know, it, I had to br we had to bring it up because Flappy Bird was like trending along with a bunch of other things, which a, a lot of the things shocked me. Listen to this real quick, Flappy Bird. If you look at trending topics on on different uh you know data aggregators, for Flappy Bird, Jennifer Lopez, Bitcoin ATMs, and Candy Crush were like amongst the top five of things that were trending. I'm like, what the hell? I don't care about any of these things, but why are they like all the buzz on the internet? And, you know, I care about Bitcoin ATMs, by the way, so don't don't speak for me. <laughs> and I care about Candy Crush. So don't there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm in the minority. But anyway, you know, he pulled. I don't know. This the whole thing was funny because he pulled the game off the Android and iTunes markets and whatever because he couldn't take the pressure anymore. Lawsuits and whatever. I'm gonna skip through that. I know you gotta go soon. Um, I heard he made a boatload of cash though. But yeah. <laughs> oh, on Bitcoin. Yeah. No, no, on a uh, Flappy Bird. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Bitcoin, get on it while you still can. <laughs> keep going. Here we go. But more updates. All right, all right. We'll keep going. Here we go. So, uh, Doctor Who news. Anybody into Doctor Who? Anybody? Anybody? No? Nobody? No. Oh. no. 
I'm the only person Jesus. I am, I am a huge Walking or sorry, Doctor Who fan. I'm okay. Honestly, I'm not even being sarcastic. And so he's like, this guy is an effing nerd, dude. All right, I so am loud and proud. All right, dude. So doctor. Tales of of Trenzalore. Have you heard yes. about that? Uh, no. They're gonna do. They're gonna talk more about uh do the Doctor's 300 years on uh, Trenzalore, like when he was on uh in the town of Christmas. Uh, I don't care about that. Is that a comic book or are we talking about in the show? It's going to be, I believe it's either going to be a book series, an audio show, or it might, I don't think it'll be a spinoff show. It might be, a, it'll probably be a radio type show. He spent yeah. 300 years at Christmas? Yeah. That's I why he got that. I guess so, yeah. He was super and, old by the time. Yeah, because he was away from the TARDIS so long. Yeah. <laughs> so interesting. I, you know what, dude? We'll talk Doctor Who back and forth, because I, I, I got a love-hate relationship with that show. Dude, uh, so you know what? I'll be a future discussion. We'll uh, maybe we'll have a All Doctor right. Who episode, and we'll force Obi to watch Doctor Who as well. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> I can just tell he looks like a Doctor Who fan <laughs> in the making, right? There. I think every, every, even I'm a hardcore Doctor Who I fan, agree, and yeah, and I'm I'm love hate with it as well. But anyway, Doctor Who online is shutting down this month, and on February 28th, apparently didn't do that well. Uh, it was too cartoony for some people. Um, also, there's a speculation that the show might come back early for the summer, instead of in uh, the f instead of fall. So uh, pretty neat. And on Saturn news, uh, Chris Barry, one of the directors of you know 16 years worth of uh, Doctor Who, on and off, died at age 88. It's so kind of sad. Uh, lose one of the legends there. But he was uh, Chris Barry was also one of the first people that worked on the very first Dalek episodes. But anyway, I'll move on from. Uh, Doctor Who. Actually, one more Doctor Who thing. For those hey, that know... You, are you a fan of the old Doctor Who they got rolling in now? Yes. Yeah, we're, we're, okay. we're gonna, you know what? We have to talk off, offline, man. We'll okay, set something we'll talk up. offline. These guys are like... Uh... Maybe we'll do a bonus episode. Uh, Obi's like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Anyway, they have a robot dog on Doctor Who called K-9. I'm not going to say anyone remembered K-9, because obviously only Matt will. But from the original series. Uh, especially my, my favorite Doctor, Tom Baker. But uh, apparently now this company's developing robotic pets. All right, well we don't wait from Doctor Who, I promise. But it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a real thing now. Having robot pets, kind of neat. Nice. Oh, there's nice. actually working prototypes. There's one that can throw cinder blocks at people. Oh man, I can't that, wait. That, that come in handy. <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> I want a robot pet. I want a robot dog that can say snarky remarks like K9 from Doctor Who. Okay, I'm sorry, I went back there. <laughs> Um, also, more more tech news. Uh, the real life Iron Man suit in development. More nerdgasm. It's called uh, the Talos. You guys hear about this? The tactical assault light operator suit. That won't go wrong at all. I know. It's only they, gonna be a price tag of about three hundred. Well, they have. Well, wait, wait, let, me, I, let me get my iPad up. I want to see if I can find that. This is not for the consumer market. This is strictly for uh, centric millionaires. So the, no, no, the military has uh, what they call RFIs, requests for information for different okay. companies who bid on the project. Bids on the project. They have some mock-ups of it, and it, it looks like it looks. It reminds me of Halo. Master you know Chief. Batman Returns. That black suit that they pull out of a drawer. And yeah, spray painted it black. It's that suit right there. Pretty much, yeah. But they're trying to put jet packs and all that other shit on there. I'd buy one. But yeah, the real I'm life, too. the real world SOCOM, you know, Special Ops Command, it wants to get these into production. They're saying um, 2032, maybe sooner. Who knows? I, I think it's gonna be sooner. And last but not least, too. you think it'll be sooner than that? It's only a few years away. <laughs> Yeah, true. And I blink him in the eye. <laughs> Another thing that is, I think is newsworthy for all of us podcasters, uh, Stitcher came out with a patch, version 3.16, and it's going to be great for our listeners because they address an issue where when you put Stitcher in the background on an Android device that's pre-Honeycomb, the Stitcher uh, radio station would just shut off and would yeah, pause it. So now, so now you can listen to your Stitcher, favorite Stitcher radio station, favorite podcast, while you're doing whatever you do, while you're watching porn, you know, uh, you know surfing the web. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right, I'm going to skip the rest of the news. I know I have some other stuff. I'll, I'll just leave it for next uh, episode. I commend you. I commend you, though, Yogi. You're prepared. I like that. I try. Thanks. I try. And you guys. You guys. This guy and that guy. He's, like, prepared. What are these guys? 
this guy? <laughs> he's gonna cool be like, guy. He's gonna be like, all these guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all so right. finally, the meat of this show. <laughs> We will be right back after it's going to be like 30 seconds. Literally, I'm just going to play a little intermission music. We'll be right back with the feature for this place show. This 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 place show. Yeah, this week's show, The Walking Dead season four reactions and predictions from our cast right here. We'll see you guys in a minute. I don't talk during breaks. That wasn't in the contract. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look. Look, he's coming alive. He's dancing. He's dancing. I'm coming Ooh. out. So you better get this party started. Oh, really uh, welcome out. back to <laughs> Horse Play <laughs> Episode 10. <laughs> Brains and fried paprika, the feature of today's smoked paprika. Yes. Smoked paprika. Brains and smoked paprika. Obi, that's the name of the show. <laughs> sure. Obi. It's brains and smoked paprika. Do it again. It's a it's a very good seasoning, by the way. Good. Sure. Maybe in bacon. <laughs> Walk Dead season four. Now I want to get your guys's. I know you guys have been keeping up with it, and I am sorry I haven't been. But like I said before, this brain's been through so much shit that it's not going to remember anything an hour after we stop. So, talk away, guys. What do you guys think is going to happen? Oh, oh, we're doing predictions. Well, predictions and predictions. I know we're, we're limited on time, so I'm going to get bring up some of the key points here, it says and then we'll. God, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, sir? Ah. Uh... You know, I want to say this real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up by saying that I haven't kept up with. I don't remember the comic that well, yeah. and I skipped around a lot in the comic. But I know that in the comic they killed off less main characters than they have in the show, and I feel like on the show to make up for some of the slower moving stuff, they're killing off more people. So you're you're saying they kill off more in the comics than they do in the show, right? No, vice versa. Because Herschel no. lived longer in the comic. Um, and Sophia lived longer in the comic. It didn't yeah, feel. But, um, no, it, it, it is a slaughterhouse in the comic books. Uh, oh, I know. I, I know. I know. Carl gets his face blown off and everything. No, I mean in the comic books, the, the original prison scene, Laurie was still alive. There was a whole panel with her getting shot with her baby, a shotgun to the stomach. Yeah, yeah. Brains. And like half the Herschel family dies in the prison scene. I think they're being pretty conservative of their cast. Yeah, like I think they're in a tough position where they've got so many beloved characters now that to now dig into like the core core group is genuinely gonna piss people off. Like Herschel yeah. piss people off. But like there's some untouchables now. Like you get rid of Daryl, you're gonna have like a petition the next day. Oh you're yeah. Gonna, that yeah, you get thousands Glenn. of people. Yeah, you'll get more people voting on that than like on their own president or prime minister. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, Glenn, and Maggie are also untouchable. Well, maybe Glenn not so much because people secretly want Maggie, so they're like, "Oh, if yeah. Glenn dies, but you I'm know." Comic spoilers, by the way. Someone is a spoiler. Like, yeah, I'm giving comic spoilers, but these are like three, four year old spoilers from the comic books. So yeah, not yeah. Be concerned right now. Yeah, but I still feel like uh, they need at this point they're in a, they're they're at a place where they need to introduce new characters and really ease them into the show. You let us get attached to them so that there could be a sense where there's expendable. Because it feels like the past couple of seasons, especially, there's been people introduced and then killed off right away. So it's like you don't feel any, there's no longer an emotional attachment. So it's kind of like, okay, yeah, you kill somebody, big whoop, you know, people die. Yeah, like everyone who came from, um, what's its nuts? Uh, what's the place the governor looks after? I can't remember the name. Woodbury. 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 All those people are dead now. We were talking about this yeah. in the podcast. Like, moving to the prison was the worst thing any of them could have done because now they're all dead, either the flu or the prison break thing. Now I'm going to be like, uh, when as soon as I see this, I'm going to be like, don't go in there. Don't go in that prison. You're going to die, man. <laughs> Sorry, Obi, this is going to be riddled with. But you're, back to your point, and uh, I'll shut up because I want, because Sean's very passionate about Walking Dead. Uh, they introduced three that potentially main characters on the very last episode. Yes. At the very end. That were straight uh, from the comic, issue 53, the cover. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a really good excited. homage. Yeah. I don't know what to expect, Matt. I, 
Well, I got burned for talking about this last time, so I'm just going to say they're going down a very cool path now if they're bringing in these characters. That It's leading up to my favorite part of the entire franchise. So, uh, well, I, I think that... I will say this. I think they're taking more creative liberty with the show versus the comic, which is good. Because you wouldn't want it to be an exact regurgitation of the comics. So that's right. good. And... Um, we're getting into that whole to that whole part, cause that's that's like the la- la- last episode we saw. Man, there's so much stuff to talk about. Let, let's bring it to you, Sean. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about real quick, they kind of brought a big focus on the infamous little shoe. Do you think this is a non-important factor, or is this some kind of foreshadowing, or was it more the reason it became a factor was because the it was Beth that found the shoe, right? If I'm the first, he first saw, saw the shoe yeah. on the tracks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saw the shoe. You on the think track. she just overreacted because she thought it was someone else? I don't know. You know, uh, you know the the Walking Dead is good for going down these paths, leading up to things like the shoe, and never giving answers for it. You know, you open the door, and as we see on the zombie cast, there's a brick wall there, and it, it's just left dead from now on. So, I, you know, I don't know if if they were. Connecting that scene, you know, to where they were overdubbing the scenes, you know, like, uh, you know, where Tyrese was and, and where Daryl and Beth had been, you know, they, they, like with the bunny rabbits and the shoes. So I don't, I don't know if they were just so on together, like, like remember this, or watch yeah. out. But I, I don't know what the shoe had to do with anything. Do you, Matt? No, but Yogi's right. It seemed important. Like they lingered on it long enough to be like we're supposed to say, oh, it's the shoe. This is important. It, it, it was more than a cutaway shot, so... Exactly. So I just that, don't know what it would be. The one thing but I will that, say but is that, that, but that... But that's like the rats at the prison. You know, who, who's who's feeding the zombies? Who's that's, feeding that's, the zombies? Oh, we know who that is now. Yeah, that, that's that, the... Segway. Creepy, creepy girl. Creepy. Lizzie. But, but, yeah, but... That's going to have a payoff, though. <laughs> Sorry, Obi. Is it? Is it going to have a payoff? <laughs> all right, let, let... It already is, because we're, that's all going to tie together, because we're yeah. going to find out what Lizzie's been doing. Yeah. And by, for the record, I think, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I knew she was batshit crazy from the beginning. When she started naming the zombies and playing with them, like that girl. I'm team Lizzie, dude. Batman. Oh, God, they're Team Governor and Team Lizzie, bro. I love you, man, but you're killing me. Team Lizzie. Ah, oh, so, uh, Sean, Sean's on team kill everybody to survive a zombie apocalypse. Uh, he doesn't understand the meaning of a zombie apocalypse or what you're supposed to be doing. Sean just wants to throw everyone under the bus and survive. Right, oh, yeah. Okay. I make sure. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. If I make sure, if I see you coming down the road and we're under a zombie, I'm gonna shoot your ass in the head before you get to me, Sean. Sorry. You and you and Sean can be on the same team. That's. All right, all right. Before we go to the shit store, and we know where this always goes, Obi. <laughs> t- we've been having a long-standing debate on every show that we get together on, or every chat that we get together on, and it's never gonna end. But let's take it back to when to where you're at. Cause you're close to the end of uh, season two ish, right? So you're you, did you get to the farm yet? Damn it! I thought you said you hit season two. Sequence of the first episode. Do you know what this show is about? All right, all right. All right. So let's take it way back. <laughs> yeah. Shane, do you like Shane versus Rick? Please tell me no. So are you an idiot or are you a smart, responsible? Which one, Shane? Is Shane is the douchebag that slept with Rick's wife. Shane's a fucking dickhead. He needs yes! Dickhead. This guy. This guy right here. Number one. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, I I'm going to say, say something. Okay. All right. Obi, go. Lay, lay, lay it down because I know you're not caught up on the show. So, lay it down. Like, lay it down, bro. That's it. I'm putting my chair up for this. Okay. <laughs> now, I do understand. And it's a, zo- it's a zombie apocalypse. I do understand that, you know, you thought your husbands would, you know, they both thought... Okay, everybody says, well, we thought you were dead. Wake up in a hospital, and all you see is nothing, nobody's around, and you wake up from a however long coma that he was in. Mm-hmm. That's going to be weird enough. Well, then you don't have your wife and your kid. Meanwhile, your partner's up in the hills banging your wife and being your kid's care dad. Of your wife. Take not taking Listen. her. Listen, take no, care hold, of on. Son. hold on, hold sure on, hold on. That's not dead. That's, that's... Show him how to shoot. That's what I'm I mean, getting. That's what I'm getting to, though. I understand that they all thought he was dead. So if it's understandable, if they're gonna, you know, hey, uh, you know, that was his partner. 
Um, now, on the other hand of it, I think from the time I first seen that guy in the damn show, I think he wanted his wife anyway. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, hey, he's dead now. You're mine, you know. No, and then she wasn't, she wasn't saying no. Right? She was fucking broken open and say, hey, come get some, big boy. <laughs> she wasn't saying no. And, well, now, now, hold on, Yogi, one more thing and I'll stop. But now I'm to the point where I just, it was a couple episodes ago, but now to the point where he's trying to say, you know, hey, you know, you know, what about us? And he's like, my husband's back, dude. We, there is no us. And now he's pissed. Mm -hmm. See, and eh, this is where I think it's that freaking douchebag's going to get fucking eight or something. Well, see, Man. let me tell you this. I'm not going to spoil, go I'm not going to spoil that aspect for you. But I'm going to say one of the things they did that's very beautiful with Shane is that they built up a huge history there and they be, they made you not realize behind look at these guys in the chat. <laughs> the chat's get out of control. <laughs> but uh they're troll they're just having fun, the crazy guys. Hey, go go handle the movie. Lay, lay down the law. But uh I like I really like what it did with the character development and I hope they continue that trend because you know, I think really the more you we see about Shane, the more we know that there's no more speculation. He's been the guy all along that's been trying to make Rick look like he's incompetent. You know, he's always been the guy that, oh, your, your heat is broken, your hot water heat is broken, I'll fix it for you, buddy. And under this guise of being the best friend and just trying, oh, I'm just trying to help you out, brother. No, he was trying to impress the girl that he always and they, liked. And every time they went out and he left... That they left uh, was you said Shane was the dickhead, right? Yeah, yeah. Shane would make sure that I'll keep him safe. I'll keep him safe. I'll do this. I'll do this, and I'll do this. So you're looking like you know, yeah. Uh, what's his other? He was what's undermining his him at every turn. Exactly. Right. Every, in everything he was doing, even even when the guy got shot, when he actually pulled up in the beginning, okay, when he got shot, he pulled up his shotgun. If you guys watched, go watch episode. I think it's it's one again. He puts the shotgun down, and then puts it back up after his partner got shot. Yep. Come on, man. Yep. He's you're a just, big. You're just everyone you're blatantly, knows it. Yes, everybody that is watching this, I am drinking a fucking two liter of Mountain Dew, and I don't care. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do the do. <laughs> but you know all that's. Uh, it's actually brought. Um, but what's cool about it is when they've done everything up t till now. I think they've set the stage by finding us bigger douchebags to hate. So if now it's we're at a point where it's like, where who can we hate more than everyone we've met to this point? I mean, what could be the conflict? What needs to be resolved? What what will be their challenge going forward? So that's where things get interesting, right? I yeah. agree, and and I think you know Shane, and then the guy who comes after. I think those are just testing the group. Now I think the the real challenge is going to come up around the bend, and that's going to be for all the marbles. And I think I read an article somewhere: the show needs to have an endpoint somewhere because it, mm. it's in real danger of just rambling on yeah. and walking through a forest for the next five years. It needs to have you know we're going to cut it off in the comics here, and we're just going to go f like ninety, uh, because most shows most shows like that. They end up being too popular for their own good. They're on the air too long, and and then they fizzle mm -hmm. away. They fizzle away into nothingness. Like they just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think but... it needs to run its course. I mean, it just needs to. There's been a couple of shows out like this that mm -hmm. actually, it, they did it. Thing they did everything. They got near the end, or they got to their their safe haven, or they did whatever. They got underground, or they got to the ship, or they got wherever it was, right. or they got to outer space, and then it's over. Just be done. Don't keep yeah. making remakes and ep be, more episodes. Be Breaking more. Bad. Be comfortable in that you told a story and that you probably could have sold more ads for the next three years and <laughs> had another job for the next three years, but they had the confidence to say, this is where we're stopping. And that's mm -hmm. you got to respect shows that do that. And you love them longer because you remember them. Right. Well, and, and one that one that me and my wife watch, uh, that's, it's on its last season now, um, but it's How I Met Your Mother. Which oh, is yeah. you know, nothing with zombies, but it's still yeah. they they stopped it, you know. And now they did this last season, but anyway, anyway, zombie talk. It's arguable <laughs> though that went on a long time. How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, but that was a good show. You know, the 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 biggest womanizer in the show isn't actually he's actually gay. So you know whatever. <laughs> oh, um, Barney. I love Neil Patrick. Harris. Is it not Neil Patrick Harris? Yeah, 
Yeah. Doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I love that guy. He's cool. Yeah. yeah, he's cool. But anyway. I got a question for you guys then. And this will be a quick, a quick question to keep things moving along. From where each of you guys are at, and, I, and I'll sound you guys each off. Um, from where you're at on the show. Obi, stop it. What, how much longer do you think foresee the show? How many seasons do you see the show going for? From where you're at, seeing how much has developed the pacing of it, and you know, between choose all right, give me two answers if you want. Like well, how long you'd like it to last as a fan, and how long you think it needs to last so that it's finalization and it doesn't just end in mediocrity. So Obi, you started off where you're at right now in the show. Well, how um, long do you I think it could run? How many seasons do you think? Um. Well, I kind of have a little, um, I have to admit something to you guys. Um, season four came out, started playing, so I've been watching those episodes. So catching up with season one and two and then watching season four as it's going. So I kind of know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So right. I really think from right now in the, the season that it is right now, I think maybe one more season to where they have to get that final push to – Wherever, you know, up in the mountains or, you know, way up in Canada or way down, you know, wherever they'll be, yeah. you know, safest, you know, they'll make that final push and then be done. I'd like it to go. I'd like it just to. I'd... Yeah. So you say it's another year, but I'd like it to go a couple because I actually like it. So. Wow. So season go five, ahead. you think you'll end on Obi? Maybe five or six. I think six would be the 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 ceiling for me. I can't see them rehashing the same old, we found some place safe, but it's not safe because of this. We found some place safe, but it's not safe because of this. And then, mm. That's why I said like season five yeah. and six, they do that final push to that, that final that final home front. Yeah. How about you, you know. Sean? What do you think? How, how long do you think they got? Sorry, I had to step away. Uh, how long for what? How, long, how many seasons do you think uh, Walking Dead has left? Versus, all right, so to give us two answers. How long you'd like it to last, and how long you think it really has before the show really runs out of plot twists and real substance. You know, I, I, I hear a lot of debates about The Walking Dead. Uh, me being a fan of The Walking Dead, uh, it, if I can't catch it Sunday night, it you know, I, by Tuesday, I have seen it. That's a fact, because I'm that interested in it. So I, I think that... With every day that you get up and go to work, you, you create in real life a new story. So I think it's endless, man, with The Walking Dead. I think it's, it's – the sky's the limit with it. You know, if they keep it creative, uh, you know, th there's a lot of stories in, in a library. So, uh, you know. If well, the creativity the... stays. But that's if where the creativity you get to... is continuously – sorry, Matt. But if the C yeah, no creativity is continuously rerun – and if not just rerun, redone, but tweaked a little bit here, tweaked a little bit here, that's going to get old really, really fast. There I mean, is no I, sky to limit in any episodes. I don't I care still what watch, you say. I still watch new seasons of Road Rules. Mm -hmm. 20 years <laughs> into it. I mean, so, you know. But yeah, see, but that's a little that's different, a though. Total different, that's a total different show. I mean, but, it, but it keeps me interested. But it, here's the thing. A, that's where the spinoffs come into play, the, the Walking Dead spinoffs that they're starting to develop. That's where you can explore different stories in this post-apocalypse. But for these batch of characters, I don't want them to be stretched out to their limit. I mean, in the comics, they had that problem. And especially now, in the same timeline in the comics, there was a bunch of time. Like, it was just like, uh, what do we do with them now? They were just going from event to event, not really having any meaningful impact. And then they got into another big story. So I don't want the show to do that. I want the show to have a very specific end date in mind and i want other shows to come out other walking dead shows like they're doing to maybe pick up and tell us those other creative stories because i will watch those all right guys i'm gonna i'm gonna cap off this discussion at that particular part of our discussion with a, a, a quote that i think you guys might find interesting i want to see if you guys agree or disagree with this all right this is from uh, screen <laughs> this is from screencrush.com and what it's an article where they compare the walking dead comics to the show but more specifically if you don't read the comics, or you haven't read them, or you don't plan to, whatever, wherever camp you're in, it's it's important because they talk about some of the flaws of the show in itself. 
not just compared to the comics. Which is, it's been very interesting. And I think we're all fans here, and we're all pretty hardcore about it. But we see the flaws. So here's the quote, all right? The very nature of television writing means that we can't spend five minutes talking about anything mundane. So the day-in-life viewpoint that makes the nothing is happening... Oh, wait, 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 I skipped ahead. Makes the comic so compelling is replaced by a false sense of urgency. Sorry, I skipped ahead. All right? So the, the day-in-life viewpoint that makes the comic so compelling is replaced by a false sense of urgency. All right? They're talking about the pacing. The next thing we have to say is, even when nothing is happening, the show acts like it's in a hurry. It all feels so lost in translation. Now, I feel, and, and this is where I want, where I want you guys to chime off, you know, if, agree or disagree, I feel like the show does feel rushed sometimes. There might be some aspects where they could stretch it out a little more so that they build the climax. And then there's some parts where it feels like they're just rushing things. Like, um, I personally feel like Robert Kirkman's biggest flaw is that instead of creating the emotion and letting the, the actors carry the characters and the emotions and, and stating the situation, he has to straight out just have the characters speak it out like in dialogue and stuff. And it's kind of stupid. Like... I feel like they're, they're rushing certain things like, oh, I'm angry about this, rather than showing the, the emotional t turmoil. And I think that's, that's part of the essence of the show, is, is, is having that, the dynamics between the characters, the, the struggles between the different types of personalities and whatnot. So what do you think? Do you think that is the false sense of urgency, like that maybe they're rushed, the pacing is off? Do you think the pacing is too fast, too, too slow, you know, given what we just said? Well, Sean, Sean, you talk about this, so you go first. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you took the time to pose a great question. Uh, the pacing of the show, do you think it, yeah. it lingers too much, or do you think they can build more? What's? Yeah, I, I like it. Uh, I, I got to say, the, mo the biggest complaints of the uh, – of it, you know, we'll say recent times is when you're present on the show. And in season two, which was recent times as we were watching it, I had complaints that it was slow. But I've come to find out I've liked the character building, mm -hmm. and I love season two. You know, whenever I go back and watch it now, I, I think it, the, the Debbie Downer of season two was waiting week to week. But when you go back and watch it as a complete season, yeah. in marathon form, it's a great season. Which I think this season, you know, where we had the virus and, the, you know, the whole governor thing, I think they're getting into a you know like we've talked about on ZombieCast, the last two episodes have been pure feeling to me. Mm. But, but, you know because it's it's not the prison, it's not the governor. It, it, it's it's the last two episodes have been survival, nothing more, survival. But mm. you're seeing all the characters thrust out of their safety zone. You're seeing who they are when they don't have a prison to retreat to. Mm. That's what I find great about the last two episodes. Um, and that's why I, I didn't like season two is because they were safe and there was no immediate danger. They were on this farm. They were relatively safe. Now I find like the characters, they're panicked. Every scene, they're, they're facing a new challenge. They're trying to, you know, make peace with the fact that they don't have a safety zone anymore. They're trying to hook up with one another. They're dealing with the fact that maybe their loved ones are gone. So I love the last two episodes. I know you do too, Sean. Um, I, I, but I love the way they're handling it. Can they do that for the next five episodes? No, but the first two, I'm certainly into it. I think season two definitely. I think season two didn't doesn't get the credit it deserves because it wasn't so much zombie survival. It was just post apocalyptic survival, and it was more about the mm. uneasy alliance. Because remember, Herschel wasn't sold on having all those guests at first. He knew mm. all, things were gonna go to crap. You know, he knew that taking out more people, and much of a Christian man he was, he knew helping more people also meant putting his family at risk. And family comes first. You know. And, it, and he ended up being right, unfortunately. But everybody grew on to him, and they became part of his extended family. So they mm -hmm. set the stage for a lot of things, you know. And also, don't forget all the derpiness from, you know, <laughs> Shane and, and Andrea that <laughs> sets up its own conflicts. Because, you know, I mean, Andrea, you know, to show off, she almost snipes one of her own people. Come on now. I mean, mm. it, it, you know, there's, there's the... I'm not going to say any more about it. It means she <laughs> needs to get back in the kitchen. But, but, you know, I think there's, there's two, parts, two sides to, to, 
The Walking Dead. There's the the human conflict and then the zombie conflict, and I think there needs to be a balance of both for the for the, the pacing to be good. If it's all pure zombie scares and you know running away from zombies, it's gonna get old. But if they sprinkle in the human element more, I think they'll be they'll be fine for you know two or three seasons. And then we brought it back. We brought it back. Hey. So, so you did watch the last episode or, or or the last two episodes, right, Yogi? Oh yeah, and Obi did too, right? I thought you said you had to watch the last two episodes of season four. DVR, man. Oh! I'm, I'm, All I'm saying, Carl. I'm watching them. In a bedroom, and cool. one zombie draws cool. excitement that I like. And, yeah. And also, I want to say, guys, I just got a message from the Zombie Life podcast, which is great. Cool. Uh, the author of Frequency, Eddie Rotten, is listening live on the feed and said, Great job Eddie. us talking the zombies on Horseplay. So I think, yeah, yes. Sweet. Thanks, thanks for listening, Mr. Uh, Eddie Rotten. Thank you very much, Eddie. Appreciate that very much. Zombie Life Podcast. Check it out. And and I'm just going to kind of break right here for a second because we do have a question, and uh, this guy's been with us the whole time. Um, anyone's opinion, and this is for anybody, on the and the impact of reading comics before the show, does it make the experience better or worse? Uh, for me, uh, yeah, I'm not up to date on the, on the comics. Uh... You know, I'm not a fan of comics, but I got to say, the, the comics are very interesting. You know, it's... And, and yeah, it's almost the same kind of question that, um, you know, should you read the book first before you watch a movie? I um, think my comics wife, are far better than, than my, the TV show. If right. My, if well, my wife... Roger, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I, I'm just saying I, I think that the comics are far better than the TV show, if that's believable. I'm not a fan of comics. I don't like comics, but I absolutely love, uh, you know, like the first 50, 60 uh, issues th that I read uh, way back when. I mean, it's uh, if you think the TV series is good, just pick up, you know, the first five comics. You know, you probably go download them somewhere uh, for pretty cheap. But it's uh, what about you, man? I mean, does it is it you know? It's not like they really ruin each other. It, it might. Define who someone is, like you know about Abraham, uh, a little more than me. But but it doesn't mean that it's going to be Abraham in the comic. Well, like I so, said in chat, so it, 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 it gives amazing nods to the comics, but it's its own beast. So reading the comics gives you that background information, um, and I think it is it adds a nice little, yeah, just substance to the show because you know the show honors the comics. They're not trying to be not the comics. They're just trying to tell their own story, but. The characters are exactly the same, so you can get better insight, I think. Right. And, and if you read the comics, you know, a, a lot of people uh, that I've heard with the reviews, and you, you see a, a lot of recent articles of people, you know, they're wanting more zombies, wanting more zombies, wanting more zombies. <laughs> and the first thing that you find out, the, the close connection that the TV series and the comic do have together is mm -hmm. that it's about the people. It's not about the zombies. It's, mm -hmm. it's about the people. The Walking yeah, they're Dead. They're the Walking Dead. They're the, yeah. That's what it's named after. And, yep. and, and if you read the comic, you know, it, it's not a zombie story. It, it's a survival story in the zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. And, and, and that's true to both, right, man? I, I think they both yeah, kind well, of Yeah, they make a huge point of it. it there mm -hmm. can be a whole comic books where you don't see a single zombie. Right. <laughs> Yeah. What was that? Were you drinking like uh, spit now? <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I would say, the one thing I would warn people about is uh, if you could treat the two separate, you know, like the, the show and the comics as separate things, like you could use, you, it can help you, the comics can help you backfill some of the, sto the, the holes that will not ever be filled by the show because a lot of things you could do in, in uh, written format, in that medium, whether it's a comic, graphic novel, book, whatever, don't work in TV because people are impatient and they want instant gratification. So we get a lot of the reason why the pacing of the, of the, the show is different. Mm -hmm. But uh, some, there's sometimes when you wish you understood why there were certain kind of feelings between people or people do act certain ways, you know, mm -hmm. and had a little more backstory, more appreciation and stuff, rather than it being just crammed into a few minutes and it's like, oh, okay, I guess that's believable because you told me I should believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's a good point too. I, I you know, do it. I, you can find the comics in like compendiums now or just get them from the library. They're, um, they're an easy read. They're a fast read. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, uh, go to Barnes & Noble. Uh, you know, most Barnes & Nobles have a Starbucks. 
and, and get the, like Matt said, get, get the thick yeah. book and, and go get you a Starbucks and, and just just go to town reading for free. Yeah. Enjoy you know the, the free time that you have with, with the comic. It, 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 Matt, you know you learn right off bat. I mean, it it doesn't take a while to get sucked in. It starts off with the zombie apocalypse, pretty much. Yeah, absolutely. And there's like uh, six um, volumes of the comic so far, right? Well, they're up to like 115 individual, but in terms of volumes, it's 20. Yeah. Really? They're up to 20 already? Well, 20. There's different types. The there's ones that carry like six issues each that look like. I mean, the fat ones. The fat ones. Well, these are the ones I get, and they're like five comics per thing. And there's. Oh, okay, that's the small one. Yeah, yeah. The fat ones, I think there's like four or five. These ones I like because the covers are really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and those are worth be worth more than the, than the you know it depends if you want to catch up or if you want a collector's item those are gonna be worth more obviously as collector items. I'm gonna the... sell mine soon. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you like bend the, the the binding a lot, and even then, yeah. If the zombie <laughs> apocalypse, if you have one of the last copies, it'll, it'll be worth a lot. Mm. <laughs> all right, so we can keep this moving. That's a... like oh, I got six copies. Just... I'm gonna make some bank. <laughs> I could be the king of the apocalypse with my Walking Dead comics. Yes. <laughs> Uh, hey, books Books will have value. Oh, so you got to get going, man? So let's yeah, do... Yeah. Books and bottle caps. Yeah, let's yeah. do let's do this, because I know we have a lot more to talk about. I mean, I had like 20 different uh, talking points about talk, The oh, Walking sorry, Dead dude. alone. And I also wanted to talk about other stuff outside of The Walking Dead, just uh, zombie things in general. But we'll do this. Oh. Maybe we'll do a part two. What do you think, Obi? We'll do a part two, and maybe we'll try to get them back on, maybe next week or so. Hey, well, you know what? Next week. Let's just do it right now. Start. Uh, are you guys free next week? I think I can make nah. it next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm. Well, I got to talk to the financial, aka wife committee. <laughs> uh, boss, but, but yeah. I, I believe I am. Yes. Uh, but, but I have no it, problem coming back on the horse play. Yogi has been super good to us. Yeah. All right. Let's let's earmark next Thursday for part two. Well, I, well, then we'll just do this instead of um, getting into the news and all that other stuff. We're gonna, you know, do a few little, few little news breaks, and then we're gonna talk mostly everything that we're gonna. We're gonna spend at least an hour and a half out of the two, two and a half hour show on zombies next week. Hey, so, and, and, and me and Matt, we're gonna send you guys. You know, we're, we're gonna send you about ten questions. Your favorite movie, and uh, we're, we're gonna bring our questions too. Definitely, favorite yes. movie, favorite. Definitely. Uh, you know, it's everything no you guys. zombie. Yeah, your, your personal definition of a zombie, your personal zombie. Yeah, we're, we're going to define horseplay on the zombie genre. So we're, we're going to come back <laughs> with, uh, with questions also. All right. Sounds great. Sorry, guys. I need to – sorry. I need to get this. It, does, sleep, it is I, okay, I Matt. <laughs> uh, you guys make sure that you guys do check out uh, the Matt O'Fly – Matt, Matt O'McFly – there you go. On Twitter, you guys can check him out, and uh, you always watch him on uh, ZombieCast.net with uh, at Freeman Daddy Five, yeah, and Normy Four Seven Seven. No, that's yeah. that's Norma's. That's Norma's. <laughs> what? That's Norma's info. Did I still have yeah, it up I'm there? Saying, isn't she? She's, she's on ZombieCast too, though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bracewell as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but uh, you guys make sure. handsome Ted what, Bracewell. Uh, what day is that? So we can make sure that we get. Uh, for those that don't know what day it is, the it's, Zombie Cast. Uh, zombie Cast is live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern every Monday at allgames.com. We're a part of uh, the All Games Radio Network from the creators of G4 TV. So, yeah, it's a huge crowd over there. So, come and hang out if you like zombies. Monday nights, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern. But go over to zombiecast.net uh, and check out our backlog. You know, we've had Greg Nicotero, uh, Steven Young, uh, we actually had uh, Dave Fenoy. Uh, we, zombie research, you know, tons of good people from the zombie industry uh, over on ZombieCast. But, uh, you know, me and Matt, you, you know, we try to bring uh, the top-notch things to ZombieCast, man. But uh, ZombieCast.net is the best place to, to to get in touch with us. Definitely. And um, for those that are, are watching the video, um, we're actually – the, the the, all the information for their, their channel will be in the comment down below. Um, so you guys can – or the description down below. I guess you guys make sure you guys leave a comment and make sure you guys hit them up because they want to talk about anything, not just zombies. That they talk about everything. So we really, uh, yeah, we're gonna do some a uh, few plugs here. Um, 
Wow. Yeah, brain farted again. Here we go. <laughs> Wesley, uh, Sean, Sean and Matt, did you have any other plugs you wanted to do before you si uh, yeah. sign off? Yeah, I want to plug Matt. <laughs> that's, that's for after the show, I think. That sounds, hey, Matt, yeah. that sounds personal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go, go ahead, Matt. You got uh, where people can find you. Uh, <laughs> it was funny. Yogi and I were talking today, and Yogi's like, oh, I see you have Guinness on your resume. He's, he started laughing at me like I was making it up. But no, I actually freelance for Guinness. So if you if you pick up the new Guinness Gamers Edition, I'm in there somewhere. Yeah. And uh, VGO Outsiders Tuesday nights. He doesn't know a page, but he's in there somewhere. I'm in there. Oh, here. One sec. Here's my page. No, he's going to find it. Screw you. Here. <laughs> you got to watch the video to see his mug. Oh, look. That's a good shot. That's a sexy picture. Look at that. Wow. Glamour shot. <laughs> uh, video Game Outsiders. Tuesday nights, and yeah, I don't know. I live in Barrie. I don't he had know. really epic hair going on there. It was very, uh, like, medieval, long-flowing hero yeah, hair. Dude, like, six months ago, I had hair down to here. I was trying to grow it out, and I was, six like... Six months ago, my beard was down to here. Yeah, I'm, man. You're still rocking it, though. You're still trying to... You're still doing trying. it. Trying. It's a little crooked right now. Mm. Yeah. Which you, mat is oh. live? Which... What's... I got two mats. What? <laughs> what? I got Twitch up and then the Skype call. You know, so, uh, Both live. We're, t we're tag teaming you, buddy. That's it. Uh, but Sean's uh, amazing guy. You guys are amazing as well. So yeah. been, you guys are good times. Yep. And you can find me. Uh, I do another show called Knuckle Baller Radio, which is on iTunes and Stitch and also live Sunday nights at 9 o'clock uh, over at allgames.com, which is kind of like, you know, like it's talked about the any topic cast. And uh, follow me at FreemanDaddy5 on Twitter. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Blah, 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 blah. You guys make sure you guys send me that uh, that contact information and the show times and dates and all that good stuff, and I'll make sure I put that in the box down below when I uh, make a little video for this. But uh, Yogi, yes, you got some sign off thoughts. Yes, yeah, so just to set the well, stage for uh, yeah okay. for the next uh, when we do the part two of the zombie episode, which hopefully will be episode eleven. Uh, we will get into more of the Walking Dead talk, and by then we'll talk about episode 11. We, didn't even, we barely even scratched the surface of episode 9 and 10. Hopefully by then Obi will be caught up, so then we can get really delve into it. And then we'll talk about everything oh, zombies. So yeah, yeah. So to, not, not to be, I know it's confusing. So on our, our episode, Horseplay episode 11, which should be part 2 of our zombie talk, we'll, we'll delve into... More of the, the Walking Dead episode 9 and 10. And we'll also delve into episode 11, which will be out by then. Does that make sense? Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm confusing myself. Yes, sense. okay. After saying that, and we're going to be getting into um, what I want you guys to think about, both of you, is um, you guys play video games, of course. What is your favorite, most favorite video game of all time? Oh, jeebus. That... That includes zombies in the game. Oof. Save those answers for next week. Hot we man! really want to. <laughs> we really want to appreciate everybody for watching and listening. Any of the music that you guys heard is provided by Technoax on YouTube. It is totally royalty free. You can monetize anything that you guys do. If you guys are looking for some free sound effects. You guys can go to freesound.org and get whatever you need. Um, highlights and, and uh, highlight videos and audio casts of the horseplay, the uncut versions are going to be available on uh, my YouTube page and uh, Yogi Zilla's channel as well. Um, and of course, Yogi Zilla's Twitch page as well. Then that's twitch.tv at Yogi Zilla. You guys make sure that uh, you guys just uh, check us out. <laughs> I, yeah, I lost my stuff. <laughs> what? I was trying to hold that in. I'm sorry. Karate over there, man. Other karate chop sneeze, man. I was, I was trying to hold a sneeze in until you were done. I didn't want to. Go ahead, Yoki. All right, so you know, because YouTube and Google is still going through the shenanigans for those our fellow uh, streamers out there, um, and, and even podcasters. If you get if you do video shows, you know, and especially if you plan to get on go on YouTube, avoid uh, Google's long beat stick. What the hell? <laughs> go check out a Let's Play that. Check out uh, Let's Play Wikia dot com and also hashtag Who Let's Play to see uh, what games are safe to stream and uh, and uh, also look at some royalty free stuff 
uh, and avoid being put on timeout on YouTube and being banned and whatever. And also support our indie yeah. games. Uh, we had we had a developer from uh, Armada Online join us not too long ago, and we're really big on the indie game scene because they're, they're the ones that are putting out fresh new ideas while everybody else kind of regurgitating the same old crap. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, uh, check out our friends at uh, Game History 101, Knuckleballer Radio, which you mentioned already, and uh, Z- Zombie Cast, VG- Video Game Outsider, VGO. Sega Nerds, The Gaming of the Shoe, formerly Sega Addicts, RPG Grinders, R9 Cast, uh, and the B Team. Most of those are on all games and Stitcher, because iTunes doesn't matter. Who cares about Apple stuff? <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Apple Rocks! <laughs> <laughs> I love Apple. You know what? Sean makes me want to be an Apple fanboy because his because uh, of his passion. The like, Apple yeah, Rocks. I'm getting an Apple Tramp stamp right above my. <laughs> oh my goodness! Don't do it. Here Don't do here. it. Right above my underwear tag. Uh. <laughs> also, also anyway. for for future episodes and discussions, whether uh, we bring Matt and Sean back, whoever else joins us uh, for our listeners. Make be sure to check out the zombie blog. Uh, that's an interesting discussion. Uh, some interesting stuff on there. Uh, zombie Research Society, where I think is going to be collaborating with Zombiecast, right? Uh, what yeah, what happens to? Believe what? so. Word. Yeah. Um. What else, uh, what's another big one that I want to recommend? Of course, the Zombiecast blog. Yeah, awesome. Daddy. <laughs> Free my daddy blog. Is that a thing? <laughs> Stop it. Oh you, oh, you said the big one. Oh. Pfft. I said the, the last. Freeman daddy. Girl, please. One of the last things we do want to let you guys know is if you guys did not get a chance to watch us live or you guys are watching us on YouTube, you guys can listen to us on Stitcher. We are on Stitcher as well as TalkShoe. You guys uh, just hit us up and um, you can get every episode from there. I believe Yogi gets them uploaded, I believe, the next day or you know soon after we're done with the show already. So you guys can get that up. And then even the live feed that we just heard from earlier. So we really appreciate everybody listening. We do want to thank Moto McFly and Free Man Daddy 5. I said my Moto Moto McFly. Moto. Moto. He, Jap- he's Japanese now. Hello, Moto. Moto. <laughs> Moto. Yeah. McFly. You lost and, your motto. And Daddy Five, we really appreciate you guys coming on from ZombieCast.net. We'll see you guys next week. All right, Obion X. Part is the Obi- Flappy Bird. Did you really just say Obion X? Obion X. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. You guys, Yogi. what? Peace. Yaga, Yaga. Get to the chopper. Yeah, <laughs> Angry Birds. <laughs> At least not a Flappy Bird. That was a throwback to the Flappy Bird article. <laughs> All right, guys, I need sleep, as you can tell. Oh. <laughs> Out. Good. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, guys. We really appreciate it. See you guys next week. <laughs> Let us know uh, if you need anything, and please, um, both of you, or if one of you guys can send it to me, uh, I'm gonna put my email address into uh, Skype call here. Sure. Uh, if you guys could send me uh, your information, so that uh, when I do cut this up and make a, a video of. You know, the last part right there where we're doing all that and plugging you guys in. Make sure that we put, I can put that down in the description so they can basically just click on it and go to you guys. Fantastic. I think Sean's already ditched, so I'll do it right here. <laughs> Sean, do not waste time. <laughs> you don't have to do it right now. I mean, you could do it tomorrow or something, but I'm, I'm not going to be cutting anything up until at least Saturday. So. Oh, um, no, that's fine. I gotta, I, I'm got i out tomorrow anyway. So. All right. But, uh, cool beans, yeah, guys. Man, Thanks. That was fun. Fucking awesome, dude. Appreciate it. Good meeting you guys. Cheers. Yeah, you- Later, brother. That was awesome. All right, let me cut off the recording here. All right. Hey, hold on on one second. Let me cut off the recording real quick here. That was a post-game (laughs) wrap-up. Hold on.